my question was because the batter, after he reached first base, he went into the dugout. So that automatically to me means he's, he's out. But uh, the home plate umpire told me that he had called timeout before the runner went to the dugout. And that was why he brought him back out onto the field. So, you know, for me, once you go into the dugout, you're, you're, you're out. You know, you, you, no matter what, you're out. You're out. So, but anyways, that's kind of how that went down. And then after that, I think there was one or two more hits. They got two more runs. And next thing you know, two runs turned into four. And that really turned out to be the difference in the game because now you're looking at a 5-3 game, maybe even 5-4. Uh, in our favor at that point going into the bottom of the ninth, but it just didn't work out that way. So the the ball to the backstop overrules the automatic you're out on strike three with the first base occupied. It does, uh, and and I knew that. I mean, we knew that. We talked about it in a conference call that any count, any time, when the ball goes to the backstop, the hitter has the option to go to first base. So that just happened to be a swing and miss strike three. That we, that we didn't catch. It was a little bit high. Um, the ball gets to the backstop. Instinctively, I think the runner just took off the first base. I don't even think he was, well, I should say the hitter. The hitter takes off the first base, not even thinking less than two outs, I'm automatically out or anything. And then it ended up working in their favor, you know. So the only thing that we could have done in that situation was the runner that was on first, he was a little hesitant going to second base. We probably could have thrown the ball to second base and got a force out there because the hitter decided to go to first base on that. But, look, we, we don't play the game that way. I mean, so it's it's hard to be hollering from the dugout, telling catchers to throw the ball to second base from behind the, you know, behind home plate. So, I mean, it just turned out to be what it was, and it was unfortunate that we ended up giving up one or two more hits after that. And, that added on to a two-run inning and turned it into four. So, I mean, it just – it was a weird inning. I don't put it on Danny. I mean, the first hit of the inning was the swing and bunt and then the strike three runner to first base and just – you know, then it just just unraveled from there. Well, it was good to see Skelton have a good night throwing and, and he probably has been hurt by some of the new rules where guys can get bigger jumps, right? He has been. I think all the catchers have been and they're frustrated by it. I know that. Um, you know, I thought we did a really good job of varying the time to home plate with our pitchers like yesterday, you know, just to give the catchers a chance to throw somebody out so the so the runners on first base on just with 27 foot leads and then just taking off, you know, because I mean, there is no question if you can run a little bit, you can definitely expand your lead now with this new pickoff rule. You, you, I mean, you can lengthen yourself by almost six feet, seriously. Because by the time somebody steps off the back of the rubber and picks the first base, you have plenty of time to get back. I mean, you really do. So it's uh, guys that can run, if they get on base, I mean, they're, they're going to cause some damage. So we got to try to do a good, try to do a better job of keeping those kind of guys off the bases. How hot is it on the surface down here? pretty hot yeah. <laughs> um, you know I mean but it, it's not unbearable I mean but it's definitely warmer than being on grass and natural dirt so but you know I mean we're fortunate we're not at 98 degrees today so you know it's warm but but not, but not crazy you got Duke going tonight how important based on the last time how important for you is, is his pacing in this game tonight very, I mean it's very important you know he and I talked about that he's aware of it um, you know, he was upset with himself, I think, after his last outing because he thought he had a chance to be really good. His stuff was there. He just kind of he just kind of mentally got bogged down out there and, and started thinking a little bit too much about the runners and this and that. And, look, if you have a runner on second base and two outs, a base hit, he's going to score anyway. So whether he still third or not, I understand he can score on wild pitches and there's more ways to score from third base. But if it's going to distract you to the point where you can't make pitches, you have to believe in yourself with two outs that, you know, we're going to get this guy out. So, I mean, when Etch was here, he and I's philosophy was that way, and me and Fletcher the same way. But, you know, we have a different staff of pitchers now, and, you know, they sometimes get more, you know, bogged down by runners on base and trying to make sure they hold them. Lastly, your lineup tonight, uh, I would imagine probably trap back in after the one day off. Are you able to get Dent back in as well? Trap in, Dent in, and Castillo in for Nina tonight. And, uh, you know, so everything else is staying the same. 
but uh, you know we got to get Nina. N- Nina's Nina's he played out there every day for a while, so he needs a day. And uh, you know, I mean, right now we have two days off the rest of the year, so you know, and really the, the September second is almost like a travel day in some ways going to Texas. So we uh, you know we have to make sure we give our guys a chance to recover. And there's a lot of games left. We got over 40 games left, so you know, a long way to go. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we're just going to try to keep our guys healthy and take it one night at a time. It's you can only play one game at a time, so that's all we can do. And you know, hopefully we can get on top tonight. All right, Mace, thanks a lot. Good luck. Thank you. With that, we are just about set to go here tonight. Rockers have taken the field for game two of this series. And the starting lineups tonight are brought to you by Flying Feet. For the Revs, it'll be Justin Trapp in center field leading things off. James Skelton will do the catching and bat second tonight. Telvin Nash DHs and hits third. Isaias Tejeda at first base is batting cleanup. Carlos Franco, the third baseman, will hit fifth. Wellington Dotel in right field is batting sixth. Malky Mesa, the left fielder, bats seventh. Hitting eighth at shortstop is Ryan Dent. And Henry Castillo is the second baseman, batting ninth. Again, it's Tramp, Skelton, Nash, Tejeda, Franco, Dotel, Mesa, Dent, and Castillo with Duke Von Schaman on the hill for high point tonight they will have it steven cardulo leading off in right field jared mitchell the center fielder bats second hitting third and playing third is hector gomez quincy Lattimore in left field will bat cleanup richie schaefer at first base hits fifth michael russell the second baseman batting sixth Via Sergi Rosa is in there tonight. He's the designated hitter batting seventh. Giovanni Alfonso at shortstop is hitting eighth. And Frank Nigro will do the catching and bat ninth. Again, it's Cardulo, Mitchell, Gomez, Lattimore, Schaefer, Russell, Rosa, Alfonso, and Nigro for the Rockers with right-hander Chris Pinnell making the start in three three outings one and one with a 265 era he's been excellent 17 innings just 11 hits seven runs five have been earned six walks 13 strikeouts opponents have added 177 against him and the revs obviously getting their first look at him we'll get our first look at michael bowden tomorrow and pinnell just a second year pro 23 years old guy that Jamie Keefe knew from the Can-Am League. He was in Rockland last season where Keefe was managing. And we are set to go tonight as Trap digs in our Dasher Investment Services first pitch. It is taken up high and we are underway. 6.33. Good enough. Ball one on Trap. who's hitting 3.11. Pitch to him, he swings, chops it to shortstop. Alfonso is there, steps into the throw, gets him at first, and there is one away. That's how our game begins tonight. Rebs are in the alternate Navy here on the road. High Point is in some special jerseys that are being auctioned off tonight. I believe it's, a, I believe it's local service organizations. They have the logos across the back of those different organizations. White with blue sleeves, or a blue left sleeve, a red and gold right sleeve. And here's James Skelton who takes a fastball for a strike. Skelton hitting at 301. Nine home runs, 42 RBIs. Pitch. It is a called strike two on the outside corner. Lindy Hall, our plate on tonight. Vincent Kreitscher at first bit or uh, yeah at first base, Tim Detweiler at third. Here's the 0-2. And a fastball strike three called. Pinnell paints the outside and a three-pitch strikeout looking and a quick start for the young righty. Two up, two down. As he comes out pounding the strike zone. And the Revs, who last night struck out 18 times, 
the most in a nine inning game in team history. Have one on the board now tonight. All right, here's Talvin Nash with two away. First pitch is a little bit low. Talvin at 303, 31 home runs, 76 batted in. Player of the year numbers, certainly, with a month and a half remaining, and he takes off the plate away. It's ball two. Last night, his 10 game hitting streak ended. He hit up over 430 on that, but still carrying a 25 game on base streak. He did reach on his league leading 70th walk last night. And he swings here and fouls it back against the netting. Our weather tonight brought to you by Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care. 85 degrees, partly cloudy. There is a chance of storms at some point. It feels like 90. I'm Nash back in there. Here's the 2-1. And it misses way high. Pinnell, who began his career in the Can-Am League last season after pitching at St. Thomas Aquinas College in New York. He's from Mamaronek, New York. Six-foot righty, fires, and that's in at the knees for a strike. It goes full. Earlier this year, he was in the Frontier League in relief. The American Association briefly in relief. And here with high points starting. The wind, the 3 2, and a swing and a towering fly ball coming our way down the line in right, and it lands on the walkway to our right outside the window and bounces away. We have a great view of that, the right field entrance. Best view in the ballpark of that. The worst view in the ballpark of home plate, unless you're like in the bathroom or something. Maybe it's better in there. Here's the 3-2. And a swing and a ground ball. It is fair inside the line at third. It goes down the line. It hits the angled wall. Lattimore coming over to grab it. And Nash will stroll into second with a double. So now a 26-game on base streak. The 10-game hitting streak was halted last night. But right back into the hit column tonight. And he picks up. His league leading 31st double. And at second for Tejeda. The Rebs looking to strike first tonight. They did last night. In the second inning, when Tejeda went yard, he'll try to put him on top with something here in the first inning tonight. League leader in hitting at 359. Last night is 16th home run, all in the last 30 games. 63 batted in. RBI total ranks third. First pitch. It is in tight. He protects the hands. Oh, did they call that a strike? They did. He was backing up, pulled the hands in close, but it's called a strike. Second game of this series tonight. We play at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Pinnell fires. Fastball. That's a called strike, and he's ahead 0-2. Pinnell made three starts with Rockland last year. That's where Jamie Keefe knew him as a starter. This year, briefly in relief with Lake Erie of the Frontier League, Gary of the American Association. Fires and a swing and a foul somewhere back and out of play. Those are the worst from our vantage point. The balls that are put in play, you can kind of see. If it's a foul back or a swing and a miss, you really don't know until you see everybody react. Another 0-2, and a swing and a line drive. Right center field, base hit in the gap. All the way back to the wall. Nash scores to hit on his way to second, and it's 1-0 York. 
here in the top of the first inning tonight. Back-to-back -to -back doubles from the two men that lead the league in that department. Nash and Tejeda, and the Revs have struck first. 30th double for Tejeda, who's now trying to catch Talvin again. After leading the league so much of the year in that department, Talvin has gone in front of him recently. And an 0-2 pitch, Pinnell left it up, and it was toward the outside. Tejeda able to get extended and rip it. And here's Carlos Franco, lines one up the middle, and Alfonso there for a leaping grab at short to end the inning. Now, he didn't quite get all of it, maybe jammed just a little, but a line drive and playing him to pull. Alfonso up the middle, climbs the ladder, and makes the grab. But the Revs have struck first tonight. A run on two hits, one man left. We've played a half inning. It's the Revs one, and the Rockers coming up. Are you one of the many people that has a 401k that is eligible to roll over, but you just haven't done it yet? Maybe you're not sure where was the best place to put it. I'm Tom Dasher of Tom Dasher Investment Services. I specialize in helping you getting your 401k and IRA money parked in the best place for you. So if you haven't rolled your 401k yet, or if you're not satisfied with your IRA, call me for a consultation at 487-2096. That's 487-2096. And check out my website at tomdasher.com. There's a lot of talk out there about good health care. We all want a good plan. But step outside and take a good look at all those beautiful trees and shrubs in your yard. Do you have a plan to maintain their good health? Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care has a veteran staff of 12 fully licensed and trained tree health care professionals to rely on, including 10 certified arborists and 3 PA certified horticulturalists. So don't let your trees and shrubs fend for themselves against Mother Nature. Visit HeritageLawnAndLandscape.com and get world-class care right in your back backyard sports injury walk into wellspan urgent orthopedics for immediate care no appointment is ever needed our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our york and hanover locations the york revolution plays here sports radio 98.9 fm and 1350 woyk first in york first in sports Revs a 1-0 lead for Duke Von Schaman, who makes the start tonight. He's 6-3, 3.11 ERA in 13 starts. 75 and a third innings, 87 hits. Opponents 287, only 9 walks, 59 strikeouts. Coming off a of no decision Monday, he was not necessarily at his best against Somerset, and they thought a lot of that had to do with his pacing, which he looks to improve tonight. Cardulo stands in, and off we go on Duke's side of the page here this evening. He winds and fires, and a swing and a ground ball foul past the bag at third. It is nothing and one. Cardulo hitting 266, 18 home runs, which been a little bit since we've seen them. That is tied for third in the league. 55 batted in. Pitch, and it is just outside. Duke on Monday against Somerset, his shortest outing since his debut, four and two thirds. He fires, and it's down and away. Cardulo flinched but stopped. He allowed 10 hits, five runs. Left trailing 5-4 and no decision. Revs lost the game 8-5. He had won each of his previous three starts. Next one is across for a strike, and that'll even it up two and two. Five earned runs a season high. First three innings were scoreless, but allowed five between the fourth and fifth. Now delivers, and a swing of ground ball toward the middle. Dent lays out from a knee, falling over. He throws to first, and it's late, and Cardulo gets through the bag, and for some reason goes into a dive to stop himself after he was already through it. It's an infield hit to start the night, and Dent did all he could. Man, what an effort. He's back in there tonight, first time since being hit by a pitch in his calf against 
Somerset earlier in the week. And he dove. He made a miraculous play just to get to it. And then falling onto his left side, he got the throw there accurately, but Cardulo runs too well. Here's Jared Mitchell. And he swings, fouls one away, left side. Up over the netting and into the playground area on the left field side of the stadium. Chance to catch up with Mitchell a little bit earlier today. He was out early hitting off the tee, trying to get himself back on track. Now move to first, and Cardulo dives back fairly close. And he's complaining about something. You know, he, he is called safe. He was safe, but he is whining and crying about a potential balk, he thought. <laughs> the always animated Stephen Cardulo. Mitchell hitting at 250. This is his ninth game with high point. He's hitting 200 here. Six home runs, all were with Sugarland. Now Duke the stretch goes home and misses low. Might have been in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Mitchell, the unceremonious release from Sugarland. Hard to figure out what they're doing sometimes, but. They are in the playoffs. Now move to first, and Tejeda had to reach around Cardulo a little bit. Duke very uh, obvious step behind the rubber on that pickover. One one, and a swing and a bouncing ball at second. Castillo tosses to Dan back to first. Tejeda the stretch came off the bag, and Mitchell. Might well have been safe anyway. They get the lead out. It's a fielder's choice. Four to six on the out at second base. Baseman, It'll bring up Hector Gomez, who homered twice last night. And the third batter to hit two home runs in a game against the Revs this season. The second this week. Mike Ullman did it Tuesday night for Somerset. One on, one out. And Duke the pitch to Gomez. He swings, lines it to left center. That's down for a hit in front of Mesa. Jumps and grabbed it with the bare hand. Off of that synthetic turf, throws it in. Mitchell stopping at second. And the Rockers with two on. And one out. That turf really actually slows things down. And uh, during BP today, a ball got loose from the Rebs' bullpen, rolled in behind home plate where I was. I tried to roll it back to the bullpen, and it, <laughs> it stopped around the coach's box. The turf just chews it up. And they say it'll probably speed up over the years the more it gets played on and matted down, but not just yet. Here's Quincy Lattimore, and he looks at a first pitch strike from Duke. Something off speed to start him off. Lattimore hitting at 270. 17 home runs, 55 driven in. That is in just 71 games. He had been in Mexico for a bit. Pitch, it is swung on, bounce toward third and foul. Franco over to Glovett. And Duke ahead of him, 0-2. Lattimore has done quite a bit of damage against the Revs this season. He's hit five home runs against York. All at People's Bank Park. His 17 home runs are tied for fifth in the league. Tied for seventh and runs batted in. And again, that's despite missing a few weeks south of the border. Stretch from Duke. And the 0-2. It is off the plate outside. Von Schaman faced the Rockers twice, both at home. He missed 
the first trip here, and in fact, he started the next game on that road trip, which was at Somerset, our next destination, the opener. He fires, and it is inside two and two. And he got a ride in the Henry van <laughs> to New Jersey. <laughs> they did not bring him to High Point so that he wouldn't have to do overnight travel and then start that night. Pitch. Down and away, just missed. Three and two. Two on and one out. The Revs a one nothing lead here in the first inning tonight. Dangerous Quincy Lattimore at the plate. Von Shaman comes set. And the payoff pitch, it is down and away. Ball four. Bases loaded with one out. Duke with just his 10th walk all season. Here in start number 13. He's about as good as it gets control-wise. So is Dan Miner, so is Mitch Atkins. About a first inning walk, loads him up, and Richie Schaefer will be the hitter. Batting at 259, he's got 17 home runs. This high point team is second in homers behind York. First pitch is down and away. They hit two last night, both by Gomez. And they're a good bit behind York. The Rebs with 125. 19 more than High Point. He's got 106. It's the 1 0. That misses way high. So Duke in a little bit of a problem here. 2 0 with the bases loaded. Again, Schaefer, 17 home runs. His RBI total at 42. There's the stretch from Von Schaman. The 2 0. And a swing and a line drive, right center, Dotel back, can't reach it, one hops up over the wall, it's a ground rule double, and High Point takes a 2-1 to one lead. Richie Schaefer driving it the other way, and I think it carried a little bit further than Dotel anticipated, he reached up as high as he could, it sailed over his outstretched glove, and two runs score on it. A ground rule, two-run double. And High Point with their third base hit in this first inning. They've gone in front. Two to one, and it's second and third for Michael Russell. Stretch from Duke, first pitch up and in as Russell spins away. Russell hitting at 303, three home runs, 14 batted in. It's in 38 games with high point. The 1 0. And he grounds one foul over by the third base Rev's dugout. Now Duke, it's unlike him, but he's been behind here against these last few hitters, and that has led to some problems. His previous start, going back two starts ago, seven-inning complete game, three-hitter. Fires, and a swing and a loop, shallow right, Dotel in, fakes the catch, has to play it on a hop, a run's going to score, he fires into Tejeda, who cuts it in the infield, and it's 3-1 to one high point. It's an RBI bloop single to shallow right. For Michael Russell, and the Rockers have scored three here in the first inning tonight. Schaefer up to third on it. Dotel doing as much as he could on a fake catch there to try to get some hesitation on the bases, but Rockers have put up four base hits in this first inning, plus a walk. Four straight of reach since Duke got his first out. And here's the seventh hitter of the inning via Sergi Rosa, the DH tonight. Left hand batter and Duke a move over to first. Russell is back standing. Russell eight for nine in stolen base attempts.
First pitch now, a swing and a ground ball, second base, Castillo to second, Dent will have to hold it, and another run scores. RBI fielder's choice, hit too slowly to get two on it. And the Rockers with a four spot here in the first inning tonight have built themselves a four to one lead. Rosa and RBI fielder's choice. And Schaefer scores on that. So four to one high point leads it. And here's the eighth hitter of the inning, Giovanni Alfonso. Batting at 229. And he swings first pitch and drives it high and deep in right. Dotel back, and he's got room as his feet cross onto the front of the warning track. A deep fly to right ends the inning, but the Rockers score four times, four base hits, one man left. We go to the second inning tonight. It's high point on top, four to one. The malls and the internet are filled with places that sell running gear. But where do you go for performance track and field gear, technical help, and reasonable pricing? Flying Feet. <laughs> Flying Feet Sports Shoes' reputation is widely known. They've been outfitting beginners to nationally ranked runners for more than 30 years, and their selection of brands and models is unmatched anywhere in Central PA. Training shoes, track spikes, specialty shoes for all field events. If Flying Feet doesn't carry it, then you probably don't need it. All this at prices that will pleasantly surprise you. Flying Feet's entire staff is knowledgeable of what you need. Beginners and pros come away from Flying Feet with the right advice and the right shoe for their needs. And that applies to the needed accessories. Replacement spike elements of all sizes, shot and discus implements, running apparel and sports tights, and Under Armour performance apparel. For specialty track and field equipment and the know-how without the specialty store prices. Flying Feet. Just off exit 18 of I-83 on Mount Rose Avenue next to Battery Warehouse in York. Picking one thing over the other can be hard. Ah, toast or avocado toast. Ooh, four or five inch heels. But with pick games from the Pennsylvania Lottery, drawn twice daily, picking's as easy as two, three, four, or five. Plus, add wild ball to any pick game for even more chances to win. It's simple. Hey, what'll it be? Give me a pick two, please. Oh, and add wild ball. I'm feeling pretty lucky. Play pick games today from the Pennsylvania Lottery. Must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. Benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. Downtown's ready. Are you? The refs play here. Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK, York. Rebs down 4-1 to one at the end of that first inning. They had scored in the top half on back-to-back two-out doubles from Nash and Tejeda, but High Point doing them a few better. Four runs in the bottom of the first, their second four-run inning in as many nights. Dotel will lead things off. Rebs playing from behind early tonight. First pitch is down and away. Dotel a home run last night. He's hitting at 313 now. 1-0. And that's down and outside. Eight home runs, 58 driven in. Average good for sixth in the league. He takes here, and it is just outside. Three balls and no strikes. Now winds and delivers and missed low. Four pitch walk to start the inning, so the Rebs will take that. And Dotel on base to start things off. And Malky Mesa to the plate. One thing about how deep this lineup is right now, Mesa hitting seventh. <laughs> it's incredible. Comes in the night, 302, 15 homers, 50 driven in. Dotel shifts off to his lead from first. Pinnell will go home, and it misses down low. Dotel is the Revs' top base stealer. He's got 19, which ranks seventh in the league. Only caught four times. The 1-0, fastball across for a strike. 
Rebs are just one and four here at bb and Point after the loss last night. And the loss ended their record 12-game road winning streak. Moved to first, back standing is Dotel. And not, no, not only did it end the, uh, the Revs record road winning streak, but the longest that available records in the league show. He's pitched down and in by Malky's back foot. He kicks it out of the way. And it is two and one. The furthest back that those records go is 2010 on the interwebs. Pitch to Mesa, swing, and he pops a foul back. Nigro gives it a look, but it's on the roof or over it. We count now two and two. Four to one, high point leading it here in the second inning tonight. Pinnell stretches, he's ready. And to the plate. It's up high. Mesa tries to check, and he does on the appeal down to first base. He held on a high fastball. Count goes full. Ryan Dent waiting on deck. Stretch and the pitch. Dotel fakes going and a swing and a pop up. Nigro off with the mask over to the first base on deck area. And it is out of room up against the high point dugout. Or maybe the netting near it. First baseman Schaefer was reaching over there as well. And Mesa stays alive. Three and two it remains. They have netting way down the line here. So I guess they're sort of ahead of the trend. Of course, some major league teams more and more doing that now. Pinnell the pitch, and a swing and a miss. He wins the battle. Looked like he maybe took a little off there on three and two. And has his second strikeout tonight, one away here in the second inning. That'll bring up Ryan Dent. And Dent back in for the first time since being hit by a pitch Tuesday night in his calf. He was very sore. Not only had to miss the last three games, and he backs away here. First pitch is in tight. Dent hitting at 302, which is just outside of the league's top 10. Six home runs, 33 knocked in. Move to first, Dotel is back standing. Dent, a six game hitting streak, 429 on that. And since June 16th, he's hit 373. Pitt, swing, and he pops it up foul. Nigro again gives it a look, but it's back and out of play. They're having fireworks after the game here tonight. Rebs had a mall bus today. There really is not much to do downtown <laughs> right now. They bring in thousands upon thousands for some furniture shows each year, but especially when school is not in session at High Point University, there isn't much. 1-1, one, one, fastball called strike up on Den around the letters. Caused him to look skyward for a moment in frustration. And he'll dig right back in. One and two the count. Pitch. There goes Dotel. It's high. Nigro the throw down. Dotel is tagged out. The third base um Tim Detweiler over by second. He caught him. Dotel had started to fall forward off the bag on his pop-up slide. But he was out and he knew it. And Nigro, the young catcher with a perfect throw, it was a high fastball, so he had a perfect pitch to throw on. 
And Dotel is out for out number two. And Dent now swings, rolls one to deep short. Alfonso chucks it, but no chance to get him. Infield hit for Ryan Dent. That'll keep the inning alive. He grounded it deep in the hole. And Alfonso went way to his right, chucked it, going away. Air mailing it all the way across to first, but late. Seven game hitting streak for Dent. And that'll keep the inning alive for Henry Castillo. Castillo, a night off last night. He comes in at 284 with 12 home runs. Switch hitter will bat from the left. And Pinnell fires. It is a called strike. And maybe a change up on the outside corner. Four to one high point, second inning tonight. The 0 1. And a line drive, base hit into left center field. Dent will take his turn. He reads it. He's going to try for third. Lattimore the throw. Dent the slide. He's in. And Castillo moves up an extra base with the throw going to third. He takes second on it. And the Revs with second and third. And a two-out opportunity for Justin Trapp. Now Castillo right back in there tonight. Rips it the other way. And thanks to Dent's hustle, they end up making it second and third. Now here's Trapp, who chopped to short his first time up. Trying to get some of this back here early in the game. And the first pitch, it's a fastball in for a strike. A good crowd tonight. Can Fireworks after the game. Rebs actually left high point for the mall today. Here's a pitch in the dirt. Backhand stab. Nigro who knocks it down. They went all the way to Winston-Salem for the lunchtime activities. Pretty close to Wake Forest, we understand. And close to where Sam Burton pitched in college at Winston-Salem State. Pitch, it's down and away. Nigro backhanding and smothering it, keeping it right there. He had to reach and scramble a little bit, but saves a run for the moment. Dent was ready to take off. And now two balls and a strike. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball. Had him out in front early. Trapp, who's from Columbia, South Carolina. He's got a lot of friends and family here to see him this weekend. Several revs do. He have ties to the south. Pinnell the stretch. The pitch. Fastball misses wide. And it'll go full. Scouting on deck if Trapp keeps this inning alive. First base is open. That doesn't have to be perfect from Pinnell. He's ready. And 3-2. Swing and a miss. And I believe it was off speed. Perhaps a change up on three and two, and he gets trapped to swing through it. It was up. Might have been away. And it's the third strikeout through two for Pinnell, who strands two runners in the second. No runs, two hits, two left. There was also a walk erased on a caught stealing earlier in the inning. And the Revs trail four to one as we go to the bottom half of inning number two. Money and business are essential to the strength of a community. So is cheering and celebration and music and fun. That's why York Revolution games, concerts, youth sports, special events and more happen at a place called People's Bank Park. People's Bank has been serving York County for more than 150 years. Always cheering, always celebrating, always committed to the things that make York County great. 
and to you having a great time at People's Bank Park. People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Remember rushing to the newspaper in the morning to read all about that Revs game from the night before? Was it? Yeah, that was a long time ago. We barely remember that, too. Sports Radio 1350 is your home for local sports, and we're taking care of that news void in your life. Get your York Revolution game articles delivered right to your inbox every morning, courtesy of WOYK. Simply log on to YorkRevolution.com and click to sign up to receive daily game recaps right to your inbox. Keep up to date every day as the York Revolution go for another Atlantic League title. We're your source for local sports. Sports Radio 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Wealth is the ability to feed 100 stray dogs. Turn empty parking lots into playgrounds. Watch your child walk down the aisle. As Henry David Thoreau once said, wealth is the ability to fully experience life. At Smith Wealth Advisory Group, we help our clients identify their ambitions, dreams, and financial goals and develop actionable plans to pursue their passions and interests. Let our wealth of knowledge about wealth help you fully experience life. Visit us at smithwealthadvisory.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC. Member NYSC, FINRA, and SIPC. Catch the Revs all season on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Revs trail 4-1. to one. We go to the bottom half of the second inning tonight. Duke Von Schaumann will face the ninth hitter, Frank Nigro, leading off, and he swings first pitch and chops a foul down the third base side. Eight men came to the plate in that first inning. Four runs on four hits. Nigro rounding out their order tonight. Here's the 0-1. And he swings and misses. High fastball that he swings through. Nothing and two the count. He's hitting at 133. One home run, which was a game-tying three-run homer in the ninth of a game against Lancaster. Pitt swing, and he taps one foul over along the third base side. Skip and roll to a stop halfway toward the Rebs dugout. Nigro 10 for 75 at the plate in 27 games, but only 19 strikeouts. It's not like most of his outs have been K's. He puts it in play. Pitch. It's down and away. He holds off on a slider. Top of the order in Cardulo next. Kind of a partly cloudy night. Some sun shining through on the field now. Shaman pitch, and a swing and a pop-up. Skelton off with the mask, coming back toward the backstop, giving it a look. And did he make the play? He did. He had room right by the backstop and makes the catch for out number one. Now a foul pop-up as Nigro is retired by his catching counterpart. And that'll bring up Steven Cardulo. Reached on an infield single in the first inning. Duke's first pitch, fastball, it is down and away. Four runs, four hits, no errors for the Rockers. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Revs. 1-0, breaking ball, bends low. Von Schaman, when he has faced the Rockers this year, he's done it twice at home. He's pitched pretty well against them. Wind back, pitch, fastball, it's a called strike, 2-1. and one. Beat them... 7-2 at home on June 12th. Six innings, one unearned run. Wind, he fires. And a swing and a miss. Cardulo falls to a knee. And he lost against them July 14th, 4-1. But 
for the most part, pitched well. Just a couple pitches, a couple home runs, four runs. Here's a ground ball in the hole. Diving stop, Dent, but he has to hold it. And Cardulo with another infield hit. Two for two with two infield hits tonight. And Dent diving full stretch to his right again. Made a great play just to get to it, but no sense in trying to do anything with it at that point. So one out base runner. Cardulo had to know that he was going to be safe easily, but he lunged for the bag so hard. I mean, he could have hurt himself. Took a huge step. Here's Jared Mitchell. He swings, rips one through the hole, and a base hit to right field. Cardulo around second. Dotel on it. Heaves it toward third. Cut off Dent. Throw to second. Mitchell tagged out. And Castillo accidentally got him up near the face. Certainly didn't mean to do that. As Mitchell tried to slide under him. Cardulo goes to third, but Dent leaping to intercept Dotel's throw. And the out will go 9-6-4. to six to four. It's a single, and Mitchell is tagged out for out number two. And Dotel with the outfield assist, one of the very best in the league. It is his 14th of his Revs career and his ninth this season. Ties him with Trapp for the team lead this year. And he is seventh in Revs history now with 14 in his York career. So runner at third, two outs. And the first pitch to Hector Gomez is over for a strike. Gomez a single and a run last inning. Alert play by Dent to cut it off, get the second out. Would have been somewhat close at third, but probably wouldn't have gotten him. And here's a shot yank foul down the third base side. It's 0-2. Revs down 4-1 in the second. Duke trying to keep it right there and no further. Ready to go. The stretch, the pitch, breaking ball, popped in the air. Back of second, Castillo out into shallow right. Gives way to Dotel coming in. Wellington's got it in shallow right field to end the inning. And Duke works out of it this time, leaving a runner at third. No runs, two hits, one man left. We'll go to the third inning tonight. Rebs trailing in high point, four to one. Image 360 York is your choice for graphics that enhance, signage that works, and displays that inform. Everything from color change car wraps to vehicle wraps for your entire fleet, custom window graphic decals and lettering, interior signage graphics and displays. Don't replace when you can reface. Call Rob and his team at 717-757-4909. That's 757-4909. Or order online at image360.com slash PA. It's fast, affordable, and convenient. Image 360. 2260 Industrial Highway in York. Sports injury? Walk into Wellspan Urgent Orthopedics for immediate care. No appointment is ever needed. Our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you. Visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our York and Hanover locations. Facing a legal issue can be a frightening time. What's my course of action? How do I know who to call? Fortunately, the York County Bar Association makes it easy. Now, you only need to make one call to find the right lawyer for you. Call the York County Bar Association and let us help you find the right lawyer with our Attorney Connection Lawyer Referral Service. Just call 854-8755 or visit yorkbar.com. Don't hesitate in getting the help you need. Contact the York County Bar Association and let us help you find the right attorney at the right time. Get the latest on the Orioles with the Baltimore Baseball Show, hosted by Dan Connolly. Mondays at 6 on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. Head of the third inning tonight, Revs trail at 4-1. to one. James Skelton will lead things off, 2-3-4 and four in the order for York. 
scout and a strikeout looking his first time up. And Pinnell's first pitch of the inning is down low, gets away, but these guys want to hit, and Skelton is no exception to that. He will stay in the batter's box. Welcome Brett Petrek to the broadcast tonight. Welcome, Brett. Well, happy to be here, Daryl, here on the road. We teased it a little bit, but now that I'm actually here, I can totally see the nothing, the sights you have here, and it's quite interesting. Pitch up and in, missing. Two balls and no strikes. We're, Happy birthday, by the way. Oh, I appreciate that. We're kept cool, though, so I got to appreciate that, right? Yeah. Smoking hot out there. Here's yeah. the 2-0. -oh. And that's a cross for a strike. Fastball. <laughs> you stand the whole game in here? I do, and I, and I lean. I stand and I lean. Stand and I lean. <laughs> Pitch. It is swung on, chopped to second base. Coming up is Russell. Gloves the big hop. Underhand flip to first, one away. Well, at least you get a food voucher. That's true. You're really doing some work for me here, so see what I get. A basket, small drink, at Pitchin Kitchen, Barbecue Classic. Oh, Barbecue Classic, I'll take that. How was your tour earlier? It was pretty cool. Got to see everything. I your saw the tour. The tour. The visiting clubhouse is pink. Very pink. Very, very, very pink. So that was quite the, quite the interesting touch, but... There's Talvin. He takes the first pitch strike. Got to learn about some of the history of, of High Point here. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like the state a lot. It's very nice. A little warm, but seems to be pleasant. And the next one in the dirt, one and one. Well, good luck to you next inning. Well, yeah. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is one of those grasshopper moments here. Take the pebble out of my hand. <laughs> Try to see what you can do. But I recommend you lean right here. Oh, uh, you know I can I can do it all. There's a ball just outside, two balls and a strike. Got some sweet seats right next to the dugout. Check out this guy. I know. Right? <laughs> He's trying to wave through us to <laughs> talk to the control booth, huh? Pinnell winds, kicks the two one. And a swing and a drive, right field, Cardulo back, it is off the wall, and it caroms past him. Talvin on his way to second, he will slide in ahead of it with a double, his second of the night. A little awkward stop at the bag, but he's in there. And Talvin with his league-leading 32nd double, and he just missed home run number 32. It hit about halfway up the wall, padding in right field. Oh, I thought that one was gone off the bat, but now this field plays a little differently when you watch the turf, obviously, all the way throughout. It takes some hard caroms and really skips against it. Tejeda, who doubled last time up, a chance to try to drive in Nash for the second straight time. Don't have to all get it back at once, obviously, with the deficit, but got to start chipping away because high point... Good bullpen, pretty good offensive team as well. How are your seats, by the way? Oh, we're right next to the dugout. Cool. The Revs dugout, pretty cool. Got to see some season ticket holders. Cannonball Charlie took the venture on, I guess, the noble steed to come down here <laughs> all the way to high point. Had to be quite the trek. Here's Tejeda. He takes a breaking ball strike. Yeah, he's going to hop on in the fifth inning, I believe. Okay. But it's all good. Checked in at the red line. Back there at the resort, huh? <laughs> it's nice. It's not bad, no. Not bad at all. A ball in the dirt. Nigro down to block it. Ironic name for those of us from York County. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting, too. But the walk wasn't bad at all. It's just setting up to be a, a good night here. And When they ask me who I wanted to spend my birthday with, <laughs> no one more than, than the Daryl Henry, the voice of the York Revolution. That's a farce, but it's great to have you. Here's a ball down low. <laughs> and it is now 2-1 and one on Tejeda. RBI double in the first inning following Nash's double. Nash now at 32 doubles. Tejeda picked up his 30th. I give this control room team some credit, too. It's got to be hard to orchestrate the game from the same spot we're at here down the right field line. I don't know where the official score is, but that's how I got the lineups tonight, by checking <laughs> online. So That works. I just kind of paid attention to everyone because I forgot my scores book at home. 
Just breaking ball. That is just outside. It goes to three and one. We're not making a trip back to York for a scorer's book. I got <laughs> the second best thing, the brain. I try to remember everyone where they're at. But you can use mine. I got you. No, it's, it's okay. I might use it. Why not? Now you have better handwriting, though, so you're not going to understand what I score. Yeah, but I got to go use my food voucher, too. That's true. Right. That's very true. I mean, you use it or you lose it. So it's good that I get to help you out in some regard. On your birthday. <laughs> the 3-1. It is down low. Tejeda walks. The Revs with two on and one out. And it'll be Carlos Franco coming up. There was never a doubt that I'm a man of the people, Daryl. No doubt. So if you want some food, by golly, go get some food. <laughs> Some chicken tenders last night. Oh, they weren't bad. I had some of those earlier. A bunch of us here, myself and a host of interns came down. So they got the chicken tenders. Didn't see anything bad about them. But the barbecue classic, I think that's that's going to really take it for me. See what they got, whether it be pulled pork or something along the sorts. Now here's Franco who lined a short his first time. Pinnell with the pitch, fastball, it's a called strike. Four to one, high point leading it here in the third. Rev's trying to get some of this back. Also, have you ever seen a, a quicker caller via the track man than our man behind home plate today? He is on it. Yeah. Well, I can't really see him. Well, I, I get that part, but <laughs> the strike calls are noticeably faster. Here's a drive, deep center, Mitchell back on it, onto the track, and he runs it down. But national tag from second goes to third, and man, Carlos Franco launching one just shy of 400 feet. And Mitchell in deep dead center runs it down. He ends up with both hands against the 400-foot sign before throwing it in. It's just a little bit under that one for Franco, but did put quite the drive into that thing, just hit it to the deepest part of the park. A couple good swings for him as well. Got to find a way to get these guys in. Trying to support Duke. They had a tough first inning. They gave you a table outside in case you wanted to take it. I'm just noticing. It's nice. Is that yours? If you want it right out there? If I want it, it's going to be mine. But Is that the crowd, Mike? That's the one that they have provided. But I think there's another one somewhere because you can occasionally hear a little plate noise and occasionally jump out of your skin because somebody bumps it somewhere and it gets quite loud. Here's Dotel, first and third, two outs, and a ball missing in the dirt. But the advantages of being inside is we can plug into their multi-camera feed for our YouTube audience. And it's a good one. I mean, I talked about it with Christian, their GM, and got a good one here. Now fastball just inside, 2-0. The feed's good, just not super ideal in location, but... It kind of beats the old you know, tripod and the camera from 2015. I will sacrifice my ability to view the game. For the fans. So that our <laughs> viewers so our fans can, <laughs> can get it. Yeah, the first time we had the tripod out, and there were a lot of messages, why do we have this view? Here's a swing and a line shot right at center, though. Right at Mitchell, and the inning is over. Man, the Revs pounding some baseballs in this third inning, but nothing to show for it. No runs, one hit. Nash is double off the wall. And two deep shots to center that are caught. Two men left on. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Remains high point for York 1. Will I have saved enough for college by the time she gets her driver's license? How can I ensure beautiful music is always made on the symphony stage? When I retire, can I take that vacation I always dreamed about? When life's persistent questions have you seeking answers, turn to Smith Wealth Advisory Group. Let our wealth of knowledge about wealth help turn life's questions into financial plans of action and memorable outcomes. Smith Wealth Advisory Group, answering life's most persistent questions. Visit us at smithwealthadvisory.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSC, FINRA, and SIPC. 
Your next haircut now has a shortcut. Introducing the Sport Clips Haircuts app. That's right, now the cut you want is just a tap away. Just download the app, check in at your neighborhood Sport Clips and choose your guy smart stylist, and you're done. We'll text you when your stylist is almost ready. Then head to Sport Clips for a championship haircut experience. It's home field advantage for your hair. No appointment needed. Just download the Sport Clips app and check in. And don't forget a beard trim. Sport Clips, you choose the cut, we cut the weight. Since 1934, PSECU has given Pennsylvanians financial opportunities to live a better life. We are a credit union who offers valuable free and low-fee financial products, broad lending options, and outstanding money management for financing life. At PSECU, we are proud of who we are and committed to who we serve because our Pennsylvania roots run deep. We are banking on a difference. Visit PSECU.com to join us. This credit union is federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Equal Opportunity Lender. Take us on the go with the new WOYK app. Download on the Apple and Google Play stores today. Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Still a 4-1 to high point lead. We go to the bottom half of the third inning. Quincy Lattimore will lead things off. Middle third of the order. As Duke winds and fires, first pitch of the inning, a swing and a miss. And it is nothing and one. Good job last inning. Duke allowing a couple of hits, but leaving a runner at third, bouncing back with a scoreless frame. Yeah, we got a prime view of that nice foxtail from Sam Runyon on the back of his <laughs> <Yeah>. head. <laughs> There's a fastball strike, 0-2. Oh, it's like a, that's exactly what it is, like a bushy tail. The wind, the 0-2, and it dips down and away. We have a great view of the Rockers' bullpen, right field, and the right field gate, the <laughs> entrance gate over here. The bus, don't forget the bus. Yep. There's a ball down low, one and two. Thomasville engines or something like that. I, it's a long tour. I tried to get as much information as I could. Actually, I believe two and two here. Duke delivers, and a swing a ground ball foul down the third base side. Favorite part? Of the tour? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool idea to have the batting cages out. I uh, get, like, the players want some kind of exclusivity, but having some of the cages out is cool. There's a line drive down the line and left, but just foul. Down into the Revs bullpen. I think the location is really neat, too. It's at the point here in High Point. I think there's a lot of work to be done to kind of revitalize this area. Talked about a lot of different projects going up, a lot of different huge buildings, so I think there's some potential here. Swinging a bounce foul behind the play. Just got a piece on that one. Some, a lot of more battling here. Something along the lines of office buildings, apartment complexes. They're going to do a lot here. They have a lot of space. It might look quite a bit different next year. Another 2-2. Breaking ball, missed inside. Lattimore turned and took it. And one of the most interesting things they said was that they got the okay to make it a 4,500 to 5,000 seat stadium, and they wanted to stick with 4,000, so it always looked packed. Swinging a pop-up foul. Skelton stands to watch it, but this will sail back onto the roof. A pretty good turnout tonight. Fireworks after the game. Fireworks. I can watch. And, hey, at least in this booth, they're not going to interfere with oh, yeah. your post-game show. That's true. Won't be loud enough to get through this thick glass. Pitch. It is <laughs> swung on and missed. A strikeout for Duke, who wins the battle. 3-2 cutter and his first strikeout of the night. I guess... I'll be able to see the fireworks if they're anywhere except for right over home plate. <laughs> That's true. You're in a great <laughs> spot here. <laughs> it is cool. I mean, this is – I've been to Long Island, too. That was all right. But I'd Lancaster go to all the time, which is like a mirror image of the bank. But this is cool here. Here's Richie Schaefer who takes a breaking ball strike. I've gotten to share this with both you and Matt Present earlier this year. Oh, boy. Matt Present, he's a good one. 
Duke delivers. And a swing and a broken bat. I don't know where the ball is. It's not in play. It's foul. And a piece of the barrel of Schaefer's bat came flying off. He picks it up and walks over for new timber. And down east must have had an office night, too, because Matt posted the picture with Stanley from the office, oh. Stanley Hudson. <laughs> it looks like he's having fun there. But down east is geographically not that close to where we're at right now, fun fact, as I learn my North Carolina geography more and more every day. You've seen a good bit of the state here this weekend. So far. Oh, man, I was at Lake Norman yesterday. i got to show you pictures of the house. Beautiful. Pitch. It is swung on, shot toward third. Franco coming up. He gloves it, slings it across in time. Two up, two down. First time tonight that Duke has been able to get the first two in an inning, and he'll face Michael Russell. Rabs trail four to one here in the third inning. So do you take the bus or do you walk here? Today I walked because so we went we went to the mall in Winston Salem and I got my Starbucks fix. Of course. And then I was just chilling until it was, you know, twenty minutes until time to leave. Went to the food line, panicked. It was gonna take way too long. Way too long. There were so many people there. First pitch is swung on and bounced foul. So we came back, figured that's okay. I have my locally owned pizza place I can go get a club sandwich from. I walk up to it, sign says closed for the summer. Oh man, so brutal. The good news, as Duke delivers and it's bounced foul third base side. There is almost nothing within walking distance, but there is a subway about two blocks from the stadium. Did you club it? Yeah, well, uh -huh. I steak and cheesed it. And they are closed tomorrow, I found out. So I also <laughs> got something for the bus ride home and threw it in the fridge. There you go. Just tap foul back. I call that winning, Brett. That entire... That's paying like, attention. That's really paying attention. Being able to roll with those other disappointments and come out on top. I, <laughs> that's my life in a, <laughs> in a heartbeat, man. I... Curious to see how close our hotel rooms are to each other. I'm not going to say yours on air, but when we find it out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be knocking on your door all night tonight, keeping you up. Great. Pitch, it is down low, one and two. But it'll be a good time. It's nice here. And this is a prime opportunity for me to get out of two innings of sweating. <laughs> yeah. A little sticky. Here's a line drive, left center, Mesa over, dives and made a great play! Daddy Shark, full extension in left center, Melky comes up with it, takes extra bases away. And Duke Von Shaman his first 1-2-3 inning of the night. And you know he'll be thanking Mesa when he comes in, a fantastic play to end the inning. We go to the fourth. Brett gets to look through three panes of glass. Enjoy that, pal. Oh, I will, of course. Rev's trail here at High Point, four to one. Tired of hearing that music? Especially when you already have that same ice cream in your freezer. Try something new and amazing with Tropical Shaved Ice. On Monday morning after the big company event, do you want the buzz down the hall to be, how awesome was this year's company picnic? Then crush boredom and bring on Kona Ice with over 32,000 flavor combinations. This is not your typical lackluster snow cone. Their flavors are bold and delicious. Fuzzy Navel, Margarita, Blue Hawaiian. Kona Ice is dairy-free, gluten-free, and they even offer flavors that are sugar and and die free. No party is too big or too small. They can serve up to a thousand people per hour. They have party packages starting as low as a hundred dollars. To add more excitement to your next event, find them online. At Donegal, we understand there are many costs associated with running a business. That's why Donegal works with you to provide quality insurance products based on your business needs. And why we deliver that insurance at a price to fit your budget. Call your local independent Donegal agent today and discover why, when it comes to insurance for your business, Donegal is a better value. Contact Coatman Kunkel Insurance at 717-854-0300 or stop in at 3217 East Market Street, York. Locally owned and operated by Pam and Rudy Coatman. Coatman Kunkel insurance. 
Listen live and on demand with the new WOYK app and online at 989WOYK.com. This is Hall of Fame third baseman Brooks Robinson. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. First pitch here in the top of the fourth inning. The Melky Mesa's pops straight up. First baseman Richie Schaefer over to catch it and squeeze for out number one. Uh, Chris Pinnell here in his fourth inning of work. Works a one pitch, one out at bat of Daddy Shark. Yeah, Revs trail in this one, four to one. Game two of a nice weekend series here at BB&T Point. Brett Petrak alongside Daryl Henry, at least for this inning. Uh, next man up will be Ryan Dent, the shortstop. First pitch to him from Pinnell, taking all the way is high for ball one. Uh, Dent comes in batting 302 on the year, six home runs, 33 runs batted in. Next pitch to him, taking all the way as well, and this one is also high, partially inside. I'll drive the count to 2-0. Two oh. Dent, a guy that spent a lot of years with the Revs so far, this is third. All-time leader in starts by a shortstop, takes the 2-0 pitch high as well. So working a really good count here now, 3-0. and oh. I assume he's taking all the way at this point. Next pitch steps out of the box, that's right down the middle. The get me over fastball from Pinnell does in fact get over. Working extremely quickly here from the windup. The 3 1 is swung on and crushed the center field. Going back now is Lattimore and Mitchell to the track, and he'll have just enough room to make the catch for out number two. A second time in as many innings, a Rebs batter has put a charge into this one, but it's lofting it a little too high. Yeah, that'll bring up Castillo, the nine-hole hitter today. And really just unbelievable at the fact that this guy with his numbers could bat ninth in any batting order. Henry Castillo batting 284 on the year. First pitch to him is taken for a strike one. 284, 12 home runs, 49 runs batted in. Native of the Dominican Republic. Switch hitter batting from the left side. The 0-1 is swung on and fouled straight back to the screen. He'll fall behind 0-2. Oh, Pinnell working extremely quickly. This could be one of the faster half innings if Castillo can't put a ball in play here. The 0-2 is high. Takes Nigro out of his stance for a ball one. Castillo didn't play last night. As the next pitch sails inside, that'll leave in the count at 2-2. Two and two. Still has 19 RBIs in his last 17 games, so he's still hot. 2-2 two two the count. Pinnell, the righty, working fast. Gets the sign now from Nigro. Holds. Now steps off, trying to get on the same page. The Rockers 7-5 winners last night. Took game one. Now the 2-2 is low. That'll run the count full, so good eye from Hank. Working it from 0-2 to 3-2. Pinnell now with the payoff pitch. It is outside, ball four. So good job from Henry Castillo to give the Revs a two-out base runner. Break up the 1-2-3 inning here. And turn the lineup over for center fielder Justin Trapp. One man on, two outs. Revs trail four to one. Revs with one run on five hits. Four runs on six for the Rockers. First pitch to Trap is taken at the letters for strike one. As Trap takes a deep breath. Thought that one might have been a little high, but Trackman says it's in accordance with his zone. Now Pinnell coming set again from the stretch. The 0-1 is taken at the knees for strike two this time. So mixing up the zones is the Rockers right-hander. Trap batting 3-11 on the year. Five home runs, 32 runs batted in. Behind in the count, 0-2. The 
The pitch is way high. Takes the big catcher out of his stance again. Drive to count two, one and two. There's a pretty cool area here. If you haven't been, come on down. Bunch of Rev season ticket holders here. Accompanying me as the one two is swung on, popped up in the center field. Jared Mitchell has plenty of time to get under it. Now squeezes and one center fielder flies out to the other to end the frame. So Pinello works another scoreless inning here as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Revs trailing four to one. Looking for a drool-worthy auto loan? Hello, I'm Sue Stefano, President and CEO of First Capital Federal Credit Union. Give Fido the ride of his life in a new car, truck, or SUV. With an interest rate as low as 3.49% APR and flexible terms, we can make it happen. Speak with a loan officer today or apply online at firstcapitalfcu.com. First Capital, putting you and your county first for 65 years. Federally insured by NCUA. First Capital Federal Credit Union. Shipley Energy is more than just an energy company. We're a family tradition. Our goal is to provide outstanding customer service and to make energy easy for you. From heating oil and propane to natural gas and electricity, our team can help. We also offer HVAC services, installation, maintenance, and service plans to keep your home safe and comfortable. In addition, our team can improve the quality of water in your home. To learn more, visit ShipleyEnergy.com or call 855-5-SHIPLEY. We make energy easy. You trust AAA to work at every mile. But AAA doesn't just cover your car. They can also cover your home. AAA Home Insurance protects every square foot. And when you add AAA Home Insurance to AAA Auto Insurance, you get more protection and more savings. Insurance that's not just insurance. Talk to your local AAA insurance agent today or visit AAA.com to learn more about AAA Home Insurance. New FM Signal, new website. Get features, live broadcasts, and on-demand game broadcasts and shows online at 989WOYK.com. Back here in the bottom of the fourth inning, Vio Sergi Rosa. Leading it, leading it off here for the Rockers against Duke Von Schaman out for inning number four of work. First pitch to Rosa is taken on the high part of the plate for strike one. The Revs trail this one four to one. Duke's been a lot better since a troublesome first inning. The 0-1 is taken high. Even things up at one and one. Rosa batting 248 here on the air as Duke goes into the overhand lineup. The 1-1 one, one is swung on and lined into right field. That'll be a base hit. Justin Trapp over to cut it off as the Rockers push a man the first as the leadoff man to start this frame. First hit of the game for Rosa. So we go from Vio to Gio now as Giovanni Alfonso, the shortstop, comes up. Alfonso lined out to deep right in his first plate appearance. Runner on first, nobody out. Duke Von Schaman looking to bounce back against the soft swinging shortstop. First pitch to Alfonso, swung on and missed for strike one. On the year, Alfonso batting 229, no home runs, 21 runs batted in. Former Long Island Duck. Daryl went with the chicken tenders again for food. The 0 1 is taken low. That'll even things up. Alfonso, a native of Port St. Lucie, Florida. Never been there, but I'm sure it's nice. The 1-1 is swung on and missed again, so Duke with two swinging strikes so far in this at bat. Looking to set Alfonso down for the second time today. It's 
from the stretch. The one two is swung on and fouled down the right field line out of play over, well, not the skybox level, but over the roof here. A little different setup. Well, count will stay at one and two. Duke gets the sign. The pitch is swung on and hit foul down the third baseline. Good play over there by the Rockers' third base coach. I don't know his name, but it's good play. I don't have that in front of me today, so it's good play, man. Count still one and two to Alfonso. Vio Sergi Rosa takes his lead off first. Quick peek back. Now looks forward. Now we'll check back at first. Rose is in there standing up. Yeah, the Rockers will have York at home, and then they'll head off to New Britain for a four-game series against the Bees. The one-two foul or bunt attempt gets down. Third baseline barehand play from Bronco will have to eat it. It's a perfectly executed bunt with two strikes from Alfonso. Understanding the new rules of this league and getting himself an infield single, the second straight single to start this inning for the Rockers. A perfectly placed down the line. Franco did make the pick clean with the bare hand, but would have been an extremely tough play. Alfonso runs a bit above average. Not elite speed, but can bust it. Now will bring up Frank Nigro, batting just 133 on the year, one home run, a huge one, but just one home run. And Duke looks to work out of trouble here in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch, Nigro swears the bunt and bunts it foul down the first baseline. Strike one. Nigro's only career professional home run came off of Cody Epley, who was in a save situation with the Barnstormers and with two men on and down three runs, he tied it. One of the more unbelievable things this year if you're looking at success from Epley both in his major league career and in this very Atlantic League. The 0 one from Duke, he squares again, gets it down the third baseline, rolling, foul. And he'll fall behind 0 and 2, but again, he can try it again. We'll have one additional opportunity to try to get this bunt down and move two runners in the scoring position with just one out for Steven Cardulo, who stands on deck. And we'll see if he does indeed do that here. Bottom of the fourth inning, Revs trail this one four to one. Alfonso on first, Rosa at second, Nigro down 0-2 at the plate. The pitch from Duke, he squares again, pops it foul for his, I guess, one granted foul strike due to the rules in the Atlantic League this year in accordance with the Major League Baseball. I don't know what the official ruling of it is, but he can stand in basically again. He's out of bunts, he's down 0-2. The pitch from Duke is taken for strike three. Took a little bit of a delay with the device, but breaking pitch right at the knees, got Nigro for out number one. A big strikeout keeps the runners right where they are. But it will bring up the top of the lineup for the Rockers and Steven Cardulo. So Cardulo, one of the better hitters in this league this year. Average at 266, but 18 home runs, 55 runs batted in for the Rockers right fielder. First pitch from Duke is swung on and missed. He goes down to a knee for the second time today. Really trying to crush it, I presume. But comes up empty. 
Cardulo, a native of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Played in the major leagues with the Colorado Rockies. The 0-1 is swung on and missed again. And to a knee, does Cardulo go again? I don't know if he's just not reading it right or if he really is intent on trying to smash one outside this stadium. But Counted 0-2. Duke looking for back-to-back -back strikeouts with two men on. Long look in for the sign from Skelton. Now gets it. The 0-2 is in the dirt. Nice block there from James. Keeps it in front of him. Cardulo fights back now 1-2, and two, but Duke looking to work his third consecutive scoreless inning after the tough four run first. The pitch is swung on and fouled off, so the count will stay at 1-2. and two. Fantastic trip down here to High Point. Myself and some other front office members of the York Revolution. Great interns, Katie, Melissa, Garrett, and Carly. Going to miss some of them. No, actually, all of them, I should say. That was a slip up. Count at one and two. The pitch from Duke is swung on foul back again. It'll stay alive. I will miss those four a lot. I will miss... Mostly all the interns we had here this year. They were fantastic. I guess that's the way I should put it to try to save myself. Great group of people. Well, back to baseball. Cardulo at a one and two count. Two men on for the Rockers, one out. Von Schaumann throws the pitch. It swung on and lined in the center field. That'll be a base hit. They're going to send Rosa. The throw on the way from Trap is to third, and that's in time. The run's going to score. Throw goes to the third. They cut down Alfonso trying to get aggressive. And a lead will jump to 5-1 in favor of the Rockies, but a smart play from Justin Trap in center. Gets Alfonso for out number two. Gonna score that one an RBI single. For Steve Cardulo. That'll bring up former Rev Jared Mitchell. Mitchell batting 250 now, split time between the Sugarland Skeeters and now obviously the High Point Rockers. First pitch to Mitch is swung on and fouled straight back to the screen. For strike one. And that hit the ninth for the Rockers today. Rebs on a little bit of a skid. Going one and four in their last five. Tough series with the Patriots. Now Mitchell calls time and steps out. Uh, the former LSU product, six home runs, 32 runs batted in. One of the guys drafted in front of Angels outfielder Mike Trout. ESPN and Pedro Gomez did an interesting piece on him earlier this year. He calls time again, so just waiting for something. As Duke, Skelton, Mitchell just trying to get on the same page, it's... Cardulo at second. He did advance on the throw to third. Now throw back behind him at second, not in time. A Skelton was up throwing pitch. Thought it missed outside, but the board says it's a strike. Count at one and one. Again, York trailing five to one. Duke steps off again. 
Uh, Mitchell was a two-sport athlete at LSU, played football on one of those national championship teams back in 2007, then won the national championship in baseball as well. The 1-1. He's taken inside for ball two, so he works ahead. Now Duke has a lot of football in his lineage as well. His dad, Yui, was kicker for the Miami Dolphins. Duke, the Texas Tech product. The 2 1 is, I guess, just a bit inside. That'll run the count to 3 and 1. A tough one there, trying to get out of this inning with just the one run allowed. <laughs> Mitchell calls time again. And Mitchell was drafted by the White Sox, 23rd overall. Reached their Triple A team. It's the highest level of baseball he reached. The 3-1 is swung on and missed. Good pitch there from Duke. Fighting back and running the count full. Now with Cardulo standing on second, Duke will look to put away Mitchell to try to end this frame. Keep the deficit at just four. Looks for the sign. Gets it from Skelton. Now comes set. The payoff pitch is taken low and inside ball four. A long, long battle, both pitch-wise and minute-wise, between Duke Von Schaman and former Rev Jared Mitchell ends in Mitchell drawing the base on balls. That'll bring up third baseman Hector Gomez. Our runners on first and second now. Still two outs, so all attention is at Gomez at the plate. Duke really taking his time here, trying to sift through some signs. The first pitch is swung on and roped in the left field. Going back is Mesa. He'll have a step on it and make the play at the track for out number three. So first pitch swinging line drive from Gomez. Finds the glove of Mesa to end things here. The Rockers do, however, put up one run. Extend their lead now to 5-1. After four here at BB&T Point. Well, Daryl Henry will be back to take you home. I guess a little longer than normal when I make that call. As we head to the top of the fifth. Revs down five to one. If you own a tractor trailer business, then you know the cost of having your rig down instead of on the road. Rivers Truck Center in Red Lion keeps your trucks on the road by providing a one-stop shop for all your trucking needs. Rivers handles full-service truck sales and carries a full line of parts for all makes and models has their own full-service collision center, and provides 24-hour emergency towing and roadside assistance. Check out riverstruck.com for more info. There's a reason Rivers Truck Center has been in business for over 40 years. They really do care. The York County Solid Waste Authority turns up the heat every day, on your garbage, that is. Advanced waste-to-energy technology is used to burn garbage at 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit in environmentally controlled combustion units. This reduces air emissions and produces electricity, enough to power 20,000 homes every minute of every day. Visit www.ycswa.com to learn more. In your county, garbage is power. Want to give your child the best birthday ever without hosting, planning, or cleanup work? Book a York Revolution birthday party at People's Bank Park. Parties include two hours of all-you-can-eat Kessler's hot dogs and pizza, goodie bags for all guests, and Penn State Children's Hospital playground wristbands. The birthday child gets a custom Revs jersey and throws out a first pitch, and the whole crowd sings happy birthday before the party enjoys a customized Revs birthday cake. Birthdays at a Revs game. Best birthday ever. Details at YorkRevolution.com or 717-801-HITS. This is Isaiah Tejeda. You are listening to Your Revolution Baseball on the home of the reps. Sport Radio, 98, 9 FM, and 13, 50 WO, YK, first in your first in sport.
start the fifth inning. James Skelton takes the first pitch strike. And the next one is across the knees for strike two. Five to one, high point leads it. Adding a run in the fourth to their total. Skelton, Nash, Tejeda, pitch to James is wide. Skelton tonight, a strikeout and a ground out. Revs only run back in the first inning. The one, two. And he swings, hits one high in the air in left. Lattimore has it measured, camped under it waiting, and it comes down in his glove for the first out. My thanks to Brett Petrek for handling the fourth tonight. Now Talvin Nash to the plate, two at bats, two doubles in this one. Scored the Rebs run back in the first inning. Run scored is league leading 80th as he swings first pitch, pops this one up. And the third baseman Gomez coming in next to the mound. He's got it halfway in toward home plate from his third base position. And Pinnell with two very quick outs here in the top of the fifth inning. The pitch count comparison right now. Pinnell is. At 80, it seems like less, but he is at 80. Duke is at 81. Here's Tejeda, RBI double and a walk so far. First offering, breaking ball sits a little high. Sun almost setting here, get to the twilight of the evening here in North Carolina. one -oh. and a swing and a foul back on a fastball there. Now Pinnell trying to pitch him backwards here this inning. Started him with a curve, missed. Then the fastball fouled off. On the one one. And a swing and a towering fly ball. Left field, Lattimore right there again. Hardly has to move a step. Walks in a couple steps. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. It's a 1-2-3. Top of the fifth for Chris Pinnell. And the Revs have not scored since the first. We're going to the bottom of the fifth inning tonight. It is still a 5-1 to one high point lead. Hey, it's the good looking genius at Broadway Transmission again, and this time I have things on my mind, like warranty and service after the repair. You already know Broadway Transmission has been part of the community for 67 years at the same location. But did you know that in that time, your county has seen many transmission shops close its doors, like Amco, Atomic, Clutch and Go, Dr. Transmission, Cotton, your county transmission, Winters, Goodlings, Lee Miles, A1. Yeah! What grinds my gears about these closings are the customers are left with no warranty. Stop! Don't make that same mistake. Broadway Transmission has over 40,000 transmission jobs under our belt, and we are still here today standing behind our famous three-year warranty. We kid around a lot on our ads, but nothing is funny about having no warranty when you need it. Avoid that risk with the only smart choice in all of your county and stop by Broadway Transmission today. Broadway Transmission will get your ship together and stand behind it too. Visit us on the web at broadwaytrans.com or stop in and see how it's done. Picking one thing over the other can be hard. Ah, toast or avocado toast. Ooh, four or five inch heels. But with pick games from the Pennsylvania Lottery, drawn twice daily, picking's as easy as two, three, four, or five. Plus, add Wild Ball to any pick game for even more chances to win. It's simple. Hey, what'll it be? Give me a pick two, please. Oh, and add Wild Ball. I'm feeling pretty lucky. Play pick games today from the Pennsylvania Lottery. Must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. Benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. This is Jamison McGrain. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Revs, Sports Radio 98.9 FM, 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Bottom of the fifth inning, still a 5-1 to one high point lead as Duke Von Shaman's first pitch misses down and away on Quincy Lattimore, the middle third of the order. 
next one is a fastball across for a strike. And we welcome another special guest to the booth here tonight. Cannonball Charlie is here at BB&T Point. Here's the 1-1. And a swing and a miss. Good slider there. Cannon, welcome. Hey, thank you, Daryl. Appreciate your time allowing me to be on here and uh, taking a look at this uh, beautiful ballpark we have here. I have an idea that I, I need you to do. Uh, yes, sir. We can discuss this. There's <laughs> <laughs> the one, two. And it is a called third strike. Got it in at the knees. A slider from Duke who has his third strike out of the night. One down here in the fifth. Is there room in the scorebook? Do you, you can put my assist down for that strikeout, Daryl? I, I can. All right, thank you. <clears throat> and I need, a, I need another assist from you. I need you to, to bring the cannon. Yes, sir. And, and blow a hole out of this booth so that I can actually see what's going on. This is a very interesting viewpoint we have here. It's the uh, most kind way to put it I've heard yet as Richie Schaefer takes outside. Schaefer one for two tonight, two run double in the first inning. Pitch is down and away. Well, anyway, how's your experience been here? Hey, thus, thus far, very good. I haven't had a chance to walk around the entire ballpark yet, but uh, uh, nice concession area. The food is nice that it's back away from the, con from the concourse, uh, that there's not too many lines that is impeding persons as they're traveling the concourse, which is nice. Foul ball against the netting here. Two balls, one strike. Von Shaman stares in at Skelton. He's ready, fires, and a swing and a shot up the middle base hit. He bounces it right through the middle of the infield. And the Rockers with their 10th hit of the night. Schaefer is two for three. So back at People's Bank Park this season, Cannon, you have you have the Cannonball Creamery. That's a new thing. Yes, sir. And uh, I will be the first to uh, offer up that I did have that for lunch one day recently, a recent Sunday home game. But how is that going? That's going very well, thank you. A lot of the uh, young Revs fans have come out and said that they appreciate that addition to the ballpark, uh, which is wonderful. And uh, also getting out and giving some uh, free samples to some lucky fans on Sundays have been uh, an added uh, bonus to those. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out a Sunday home game, uh, we have one coming up next week. So uh, your lucky row may get chosen to uh, be given a uh, sample of Cannonball's Creamery ice cream. Can't beat that. 2-0 and on Michael Russell here with one on, one out. Russell one for two tonight. Pitch is inside for ball three. And I hope they did not charge you for the ice cream, Daryl. No, in fact, uh, kind of a right place, right time Good. type of thing. For if they did, then I would have had to talk with someone. <laughs> <laughs> a fastball, that just missed outside. The Russell walks, and uncharacteristically, it is the third walk from Duke tonight. That'll put two men on with one out via Sergi Rosa coming up. It's the first time this year that Duke has walked more than two in any start, and he had only done that twice. Well, is your trigger finger tired yet from all the home runs this team's been hitting? No, not yet. I'm uh, ready to go for at least uh, 50 more home runs for the remaining season, and then at least uh, maybe 12, 15 during the playoffs. Sounds great to me. Rosa fouls the first one off. The team has been playing very well lately. Uh, they've turned it around uh, the, since the end of the first half. They really started and carried that momentum over, uh, and they continued to play very well. Yeah, no doubt. It's been a, a rough week here, but you'll have that. The team hasn't had one in two months. Here's a swing and a high pop-up, foul ground again. This one headed for the roof again on the third base side. 0-2 on Rosa, who tonight is 1-2. for two. RBI fielder's choice in the first, singled and scored in the fourth. The grass really looks luscious. I mean, it's beautiful. It's green. Well, it's, it's fake. It's, a, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's also fake. Yes, sir. That's exactly <laughs> right. Pitch is swung on, popped up again, and foul again. Yeah, that's another unique aspect with this ballpark. The turf, the infield, uh, you know, pitcher's mound. I guess the grounds crew has a pretty uh, easy time taking care of things around here. Yeah. 
And they have a lot of additional events on this field. I know they have a Wednesday kickball league. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Here's a swing and a high drive. Deep right field. Dotel is back at the track. He's got room. Makes the play. Both runners were ahead of full base. Both scamper back with the throw going towards Sacken. Schaefer hustles and slides back in at Sacken. And Rosa almost blew this game open, but Dotel right there in front of the wall in right makes the play. Excuse me, makes the play for out number two. Well, Cannon, he is right in front of you most nights at home. You get a chance to see one of the best defensive right fielders in the league every night. Yes, sir. Absolutely correct. And we have our own little uh, pregame ritual where uh, Dotel will give me a peace sign and I'll give him one back and we'll start the game. Nice. Here's Alfonso. He bounces the first one to second. One hop. Castillo's got it. Throws over to first to end the inning. Cannon, it's great to see you on the road from time to time. I appreciate you coming in here this inning and go somewhere that you can actually see the game. Yes, sir, I will. And the Revs are very lucky to have a, a person like you on the PA and on the, oh, thank uh, you. Uh, the radio here, Daryl. So keep up the wonderful work. Thank you. I'll, I'll pay you afterward. Thank you. I'll, <laughs> and I'll give you some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> go to the sixth inning tonight. It is still a 5-1 to one high point lead. Hey, Revs fans, as if being a season ticket holder wasn't already awesome enough, did you know that another perk of being a season ticket holder is you get a VIP restaurant card good for deals and discounts at six participating restaurants? The VIP restaurant card is good at these restaurants. Venice Pizza and Restaurant, 15% off order for dine-in or take-out. Revival Social Club, one free dessert per person per ticket per visit. Fuddruckers, 15% off total purchase. Be at Thai, 10% off your order. Friendly's, 20% off your order. And Iron Horse York, 10% off your entire meal on home game days and $5 off entrees on non-home game days. Lock in your 2019 Rev season ticket plans a day. Call 717-801-HITS or visit yorkrevolution.com. Great baseball, great fun, and a VIP restaurant card? Now that's Rev's time. When you work with an independent insurance agent, you put the power of choice to work for you. Independent agents know several companies and their coverages, which means more options. And because companies like Donegal Insurance Group use the independent agent system, you not only get quality insurance, you also save money. The Independent Insurance Agent System. Discover the power of choice. Contact Cokeman Kunkel Insurance at 717-854-0300 or stop in at 3217 East Market Street, York. Locally owned and operated by Pam and Rudy Cokeman. Cokeman Kunkel Insurance. This is J.P. Sportman. You're listening to New York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Revs. Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in New York, first in sports. Head of the sixth inning, Rebs trying to get something going against Chris Pinnell. They trail 5-1. to one. Carlos Franco leads off. First pitch changeup is down and away. Five runs, ten hits, no errors for High Point. One run, five hits, no errors for York. Pitch, that is just outside. Franco tonight, 0 for 2. He's hit it well, though, both times. Line drive to short fly out to deep center field. 2-0. Fastball down and away. He was not yet with the Revs when they came here in early June, but last night in his first game played here, he homered the left, opposite field shot. 3-0 pitch, taking all the way. It's in for a strike. Be followed by Dotel and Mesa this inning. Pinnell delivers, and it is outside. Lead-off walk. And the Revs with their fourth walk tonight, second time that they have had one to start an inning, but they've yet to be able to do anything with those. And here's Dotel, who led off the second inning with a walk, but was thrown out attempting to steal, and hit one hard, but lined out to center his other time. Revs are fortunate they're not down more. Rosa coming up just shy last inning with two men on. First pitch, fastball, it's over for a strike. 
But at the same time, the Revs, a couple of innings had opportunities to both teams have. Pitch, it is in tight. Second inning, they left runners at second and third. Third inning, left them at first and third. Haven't had a hit since the third. There's the 1-1. Swing and a liner down the line in right field, but slicing foul down by the high point bullpen seating. One ball, two strikes to Dotel. Rockers begin to get some bullpen activity. One of their lefties, I believe, is Asher Tolliver loosening. Stretch. And the pitch, it is high, fastball. Revs have some bullpen activity as well. And that is Rob Carson who's warming up. On the pitch, and a swing and a ground ball to third. Gomez has it, rifles to second, turn to first, got him, 5-4-3. Gomez going to his left, handled it, and from somewhat close range, fired one hard to his second baseman, but Russell receives and relays to first. And another leadoff walk is erased. Base is empty, two outs. And Malky Mesa will bat. He has struck out and popped up tonight. Pinnell fires. It is swung on, bounce toward third. It's fair. Glove by Gomez along the line. Long throw gets Mesa by about half a stride as he lunged for the bag. And the Revs are down in order. Leadoff walk wiped off on the double play. And then another ground out following. And we'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning tonight in high point. It remains the Rockers five and the Revs one. As you clean it out, keep in mind Community Aid's looking for your lucky leftovers. After you wrap up your yard sale, donate what's left over at your closest Community Aid drive-up donation center. They're attached to each of Community Aid's incredible thrift stores in our area. Hanover, Harrisburg, Lancaster, Mechanicsburg, and Seals Grove. Community Aid wants your lucky leftovers to help more than 750 local charities. Learn more at communityaid.net. But don't forget, give your lucky leftovers to Community Aid. Neighbors helping neighbors. Sports injury? Walk into Wellspan Urgent Orthopedics for immediate care. No appointment is ever needed. Our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you. Visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our York and Hanover locations. Remember when an app was listen only? Oh yeah, that was kind of us, wasn't it? Well, we have a new app. Download the new WOYK app on the Apple and Google Play stores and take Sports Radio 1350 on the go like never before. Listen on the go like always and now get easier access to archived games and programs on demand. Watch WOYK game broadcasts on YouTube and so much more. Search the new WOYK on the Apple and Google Play stores and download today. It's not just an app, it's a lifestyle. Sports Radio 1350, first in York, first in sports. This is Justin Trapp. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Reds. Sports Radio 989 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Robert Carson takes over here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Pitching change brought to you by Maple Donuts. Duke tonight goes five. Ends up charged with five runs, four in the first inning, ten hits. And all five were earned. A season-high three walks, and he struck out three. Frank Nigro will lead off. Carson's first pitch of the night, a fastball in for a strike, top of the strike zone. Nigro is fouled to the catcher and is struck out. The 0-1, and that's over for a strike. Carson going off speed. Rob is 
Appearing in his 30th game, 2-0 with a 3.68 ERA. There's the 0-2. Breaking ball. Nigro swings. Just got a piece of it. Revs scored the game's first run in the top of the first. Have not scored since. High point four in the first, one in the fourth. Another 0-2. And a broken bat roller to shortstop. Dent will come up. He gloves and slings it over to first in time. And Nigro's bat demolished as the barrel ends up toward the shortstop side of the pitcher's mound. Carson picks it up himself. One away on our York Mitsubishi out-of-town scoreboard tonight. Sugarland is winning again. 8-1 to one in the fourth inning at Somerset. Revs lead entering tonight, a game and a half over the Skeeters. Southern Maryland up 6-5 in the sixth inning at New Britain. And Lancaster behind Nate Reed shutting out Long Island 4-0 in the seventh. Here it is 5-1 high point in the sixth. Here is Steven Cardulo 3-3 three three tonight. First pitch fastball misses high. Had an RBI back in the fourth. one -o. Breaking ball over for a strike. Cardulo, who's been to the majors with the Rockies. Hit a grand slam on his birthday the one year. Pitch to him and misses outside. Two balls, one strike. Atlantic League All-Star selection this year. Had a five RBI game against the Rebs earlier in the year. Typically they've handled him really well, but he is three for three tonight. Pitch to him, a fastball. That's over for a strike. Two and two. He played at Florida State. It was a walk-on, developed, eventually drafted by Arizona. 2-2 Two -two pitch, fastball, and misses inside. And he ended up being released by the Diamondbacks, going the Frontier League and Can-Am League route. He was in Rockland where Jamie Keefe had managed early in his career. Pitch here is lined, foul down the left field side. And then signed with Colorado and got to the majors one year after being in the Can-Am League 2016. And on his 29th birthday that year against LA, he homered in both games of a doubleheader, including a grand slam. Another payoff pitch. And a swing at a high fly, left field, hit pretty well toward the corner. Mesa will give this a look, but it is foul. Out over one of their picnic areas down the line behind the Revs' bullpen, and will do it again. He hit it a long way, but couldn't keep it straight. Revs down 5-1 to one here in the sixth. Carson ready. And the pitch. In the dirt by Cardulo's feet. He jumps back out of the way and he'll take his base. On base for the fourth time tonight. A one-out walk. On base all four times. Now just about nightfall here in High Point. The deep dusk of the evening as Jared Mitchell stands in. Tonight, one for two. Single walk, run scored. And a medical helicopter is rising behind the stadium as Carson snaps a throw over to first. There is a hospital a block away, part of the Wake Forest system. 
Another snap throw over. Now Wake is about half an hour away from here. Duke and UNC a little over an hour. Carson the pitch, and a swing and a well-hit ball to straightaway center. Trap is back, he'll get to it, deep in center field. Angled over toward left center slightly, and he'll throw it back in. Mitchell gives it a ride, but that goes for out number two. And now Hector Gomez, the hitter. Good series for Gomez, two home runs last night. Tonight, one for three, singled and scored in the first. Cardulo drawing a little attention from Carson over at first base. He does have 12 steals for the year. He's been thrown out five times. Carson steps off. Again, tomorrow it's a 2 p.m. game. We'll be on at 1.40. Ricky Schaefer against Michael Bowden tomorrow. Pitch from Carson, swinging a foul back off the netting. If the Revs don't come back tonight, they'll be trying to avoid a sweep against a guy who's been one of their best pitchers in Bowden. Had some big strikeout games. Here's the 0-1. And a line drive to left field. It is fair down the line. It rattles off the angled wall. Mesa scampers after it. Cardulo around third, throw in, misses Franco trying to cut it. Gomez makes it all the way to third. It is six to one. It's an RBI liner down the line in left field. And Cardulo is scoring from first, and we'll see if it's a triple or a double plus one on the throw. But either way, High Point has now scored six unanswered. And it has not been going terribly well for the Revs this week. Now here's Quincy Lattimore, runner at third. As the inning continues, Lattimore tonight, a walk and two strikeouts, does have a run scored, and he takes a first pitch fastball strike. And it will be a double and third on the throw for Gomez, which I believe is the right call. Pitch, that is down at the knees for a strike. <laughs> As Lattimore turns and stomps away. I believe it's 0-2, board has 1-1. One I believe 0 and 2. Here's the stretch from Carson. And the pitch. Breaking ball. It is inside. Now well, the Revs certainly with their work cut out for them now. It appears that they'll be facing Asher Tolliver in the seventh. Pitch from Carson. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. Foul tip squeezed. He strikes him out to end the inning. But the Rockers add to their lead with a run on one hit. One man left. And we'll go to the seventh here tonight in North Carolina. Rockers six, Revs one. Money and business are essential to the strength of a community. So is cheering and celebration and music and fun. That's why York Revolution games, concerts, youth sports, special events, and more happen at a place called People's Bank Park. People's Bank has been serving York County for more than 150 years. Always cheering, always celebrating, always committed to the things that make York County great. And to you having a great time at People's Bank Park. People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Planning your next visit to York? Book your stay at Courtyard by Marriott. Conveniently situated near local businesses, shopping, dining, downtown, and local attractions, Courtyard by Marriott features a state-of-the-art lobby, inviting flexible spaces to work or relax, free Wi-Fi, our well-equipped fitness center, and the bistro, offering healthy options and refreshing choices, including Starbucks and an evening bar. Your stay is sure to be more comfortable, productive, and enjoyable than ever before. Courtyard by Marriott, 2799 Concord Road in York. Book your stay at 7 
717-840-7840. The Dietz and Blewett Diamond Deck at People's Bank Park is sponsored by Dietz and Blewett Insurance Company. Dietz and Blewett Insurance Company has been serving the York and Central PA areas for more than 10 years. Visit their new location on 2000 South Queen Street where you'll find friendly, courteous staff who put their clients first. Google them on the web for a free quote. At Dietz and Blewett Insurance, you'll find the best rates on home, auto, health, life, and business insurance. The York Revolution plays here. Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Head of the seventh inning tonight, Revs with a lot of work to do. They now trail 6-1. to one. And It is lefty Asher Tolliver who takes over out of the Rockers' bullpen. Chris Pinnell goes six, gives up one run on five hits. Overcame four walks, struck out three. Revs have cut down on their strikeouts tonight, but have not had much success at the plate. Ryan Dent will lead off. First pitch from Tolliver, a fastball missing away. Dent one for two with an infield hit. Pitch, it is swung on, grounded to shortstop right there. Alfonso sends it across to first, it's in time. And there is one away. Asher Tolliver, he has had some season. He is 8-1 out of the bullpen. 31 outings. 266 ERA. 40 and two-thirds. 31 hits. Opponents hitting 215. He's walked 12. He has struck out 30. That's insane. He's tied with Mitch Atkins for second in the league and wins, and all of his are in relief. Was an all-star selection. Here's Henry Castillo batting from the right. He takes a little bit high. On base both times tonight, a single and a walk. Tolliver, former Long Island Duck, comes home with it and a swing and a line drive. Left field, base hit. Castillo on for the third time tonight. Has his second hit, and the Rebs with their first hit since the third inning tonight. Hank is a one-out base runner. We go back to the top of the order, and Justin Trapp tonight is grounded out, struck out, and flied out. First pitch, misses up high. Tolliver is from Arkansas. He was a fifth-round pick of the Orioles in 09. Oklahoma City University. Pitch is down and outside. Ball two. And he made it to the majors with the Orioles for five games, 2016. Three more with the Astros in 2017. Fires. And a swing and a chopper at third. Grab by Gomez to second one. The turn is not in time. As Trapp does just beat it out. But a chopper high off that synthetic turf. Karim to way up off the rubber. And Gomez to his left, cuts it off, made the short dump off to second, the turn to first, bang, bang, and Trapp is across. So the inning stays alive. And here's James Skelton, who's 0 for 3. Strike out, ground out, fly out tonight. First pitch fastball is in at the knees for a strike. Tolliver last year with Long Island 2-2. Two and two. ERA 434 out of their bullpen. Delivers and misses in the dirt. Blocked by Nigro. Trap not going anywhere. Down five runs here. Six to one high point. 
Babs in the midst of their roughest week since early June, which also included a trip to Carolina. I've enjoyed this place except for the results. 1-1, one, one, fastball, swing and a miss. And the view, but I do have a, an outstanding view of the right field entrance gate, so and give something up to get something in return. A one two, and that misses high off speed. Oliver the stretch, the 2-2, two -two, and a line drive up the middle, base hit for Scouton. Trap up to second, and the Revs with two on and two out. A couple of singles in the inning. Trying to get something going here. And they have two men on for Talvin Nash. And the Revs hit a ton of home runs, obviously. They lead the league by a ton. Some teams struggle to score unless they hit home runs. The Revs are not that team, but it is nice to have guys on when your top power threat comes up. And here he is. First pitch is over for a strike. Something off speed from Tolliver. Talvin tonight, two for three with two doubles. The one back in the third hit the wall in right field on the fly. Now leads the league with 32 doubles this season, among many other things. 0-1. And a swing and a well-hit ball right field. Cardulo back on this. It's going to die short again. He makes the catch with his heels on the warning track. And the inning is over. Nash with another deep fly to right. This one, though, is caught. And the Revs leave two men on in the seventh. No runs, two hits, two men left. Stretch time in high point. It's six to one, Rockers. We went to other stores and compared theirs to ours. We compared quantities, we compared quality. From cereal to celery, from sushi to salad. And while many things were similar, there was only one huge difference. The lowest price is at Wise Markets. So take our word and shop around without shopping around. Look for our new price comparison tags. You can buy groceries anywhere you like, but you'll always spend less at Wise. Eat better, spend less, that's Wise. Business owners, First Capital Federal Credit Union can help equip your business for success. Hello, I'm Sue DiStefano, President and CEO. Now through June 30th, we're offering you an annual percentage rate as low as 4.65% on equipment loans. When it comes to growing your business, we're with you every step of the way. Don't wait. Apply today at firstcapitalfcu.com. First Capital, putting you and your county first for 65 years. Federally insured by NCUA. First Capital Federal Credit Union. Planting a tree? Putting in a mailbox? Whatever your project, Columbia Gas reminds you to be safe and call 811 before you dig and know what's below. Safe digging is no accident. Call 811 at least three business days before you start your digging project and your utility companies will come out to mark any underground lines near your work area. Calling 811 is free for Pennsylvania homeowners and it's the law. For more information, visit ColumbiaGasPA.com. Cannonball Charlie's ready. Are you? The Revs play here. Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK, York. Stretch time in high point. Going to the bottom of the seventh. Revs down 6-1. to one. We'll see the debut of lefty Josh Smoker, who was signed yesterday officially. And he will come in. Pitching change brought to you by Maple Donuts. Smoker, who's from the Atlanta area, Calhoun, Georgia. Long history with Talvin Nash, who he played with 
and again, Stin High School, and uh, Fletch as well, working out at that facility. 6-1 lefty. He was in the majors just last year with Detroit and with Pittsburgh. A combined eight outings. He's now 30 years old. Earlier this year was at AAA Oklahoma City with the Dodgers. Appeared in 12 games there. A former first-round pick of the Nationals, 31st overall, 2007 out of high school. Had an arm injury before ever getting even to double A with the Nationals. They released him. He went to the Frontier League and then got signed by the Mets. As his first pitch with the Revs is down and away on Richie Schaefer leading things off. Smoker, who will go from the stretch, fires home and a swing and a miss. Good fastball there. He has made 44 starts in the minors. Last one coming two years ago. In the majors, all 82 outings were in relief. He's 4-2 at the big league level, 535 ERA. First came up with the Mets in 2016 for 20 outings. He fires and a swing and a miss. Fastball. And then appeared in a career-high 54 games for the Mets in 2017. And some time with the Pirates and Tigers last year. Pitch, it is swung on and miss. Fastball up and he gets Schaefer. Josh Smoker, his first batter face with the Revs and he strikes out Schaefer to begin the seventh. One up, one down. And that'll bring up Michael Russell. Now they certainly hope that uh, Smoker will be a big part of the bullpen, a late-inning type of arm. First pitch to Russell is in the dirt, gets away from Skelton, but Russell will stay where he is. I know at one point when I asked Mace if he's going to be in the bullpen, he said for now. I don't know if they would entertain the idea of something else down the line or not, but been working on getting him here for a while. The pitch, it is a little bit high, 2-0. He's fit in very well right away. He's got a real comfort level here with the team already. 2-0. Fastball, that's a called strike. Very pleasant to be around and like we said, he knows a lot of the guys already. Around a 2-1. And a swing and a ground ball to third. Sharply, but right at Franco. Has it. Fires to first. Two down. Russell retired on the ground ball. Revs trail 6-1 to one here in the seventh inning. Two outs via Sergi Rosa will be the hitter. He is one for three tonight. RBI fielder's choice early in the game. Singled and scored in the fourth. Left against left. 6-1 high point in the seventh. Pitch from Smoker. A swing and a fly ball. Right field. Right at Dotel. Walks in a couple steps. He's got it. And a 1-2-3 seventh inning for Josh Smoker here in his Revs debut tonight. We'll go to the eighth that remains the Rockers six and the Revs one. Home of the Judgment Free Zone, Planet Fitness is your home away from home plate this baseball season with two convenient locations in York. Planet Fitness offers a clean, comfortable environment, tons of cardio and strength equipment, free fitness training to all members, and extended hours for those early risers or late-night treadmill triumphanters. And best of all, you get all this for just $10 a month. Join in-club or online at planetfitness.com. 
facing a legal issue can be a frightening time. What's my course of action? How do I know who to call? Fortunately, the York County Bar Association makes it easy. Now, you only need to make one call to find the right lawyer for you. Call the York County Bar Association and let us help you find the right lawyer with our Attorney Connection Lawyer Referral Service. Just call 854-8755 or visit yorkbar.com. Don't hesitate in getting the help you need. Contact the York County Bar Association and let us help you find the right attorney at the right time. You trust AAA to work at every mile. But AAA doesn't just cover your car. They can also cover your home. AAA Home Insurance protects every square foot. And when you add AAA Home Insurance to AAA Auto Insurance, you get more protection and more savings. Insurance that's not just insurance. Talk to your local AAA insurance agent today or visit AAA.com to learn more about AAA Home Insurance. This is Melky Mesa. You listen to Your Revolution Baseball on the home of the Reds, Sport Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in your film sport. Head of the eighth tonight. Time running short for the Revs on this one. They trail 6-1. to one. Asher Tolliver will stay in the game after a scoreless seventh inning. A couple of singles that he overcame. Tejeda will lead things off. And the first pitch of the inning misses high. It's Tejeda, Franco, Dotel, middle third of the order. Rev's got two on last inning. Nash hit one deep to right, but it fell short and was caught. And still haven't scored since the first. Pitch is swung on and missed. Tolliver kept it down and might have been off speed there. One ball, one strike. Tejeda one for two, an RBI double in the first. Also has been on base on a walk. One-one pitch. That's down low. Revs have the day game tomorrow. One of only two remaining off days all season on Monday. And then they go to Long Island on Tuesday, back home next weekend. They will host Lancaster. The 2-1, fastball low. Now, last night, Jamie Keefe had Sam Runyon come back out for another, or at least to start another inning. Trevor Frank the same, and tonight he's doing it with Tolliver. Using him for more than one inning. There's the lefty's pitch. And a swing of ground ball, second base. Rolling to Russell, who backs out to the outfield, cuts it off, and wheels it over to first. One up, one down, here in the eighth. He's hit slightly to Russell's left. He backed up to play it. And that'll bring up Carlos Franco. Tonight is 0 for 2 with a walk. Left against left. Pitch from Tolliver, swing and a miss. You got Franco to wave at one that ends up in the dirt. I don't know why that mic keeps popping. They have done us a great service to provide their audio feed, but the thing keeps getting knocked by something. Makes me jump out of the booth every time I hear it. There's a ball down and away. One and one. Maybe it just means my nerves are shot, but it's very loud in my headset. But it definitely could be the other thing. Tolliver the pitch, fastball, that's in for a strike, one and two. Rebs haven't had back-to-back -back road losses or back-to-back -back series losses since early June. Pitch, 
Swing and a foul back up over the rooftop. Last back-to-back -back road losses were June 8th and 9th at Somerset. Prior to last night, not only the 12-game road winning streak, there's the 1-2, swing and a miss. Got him on a fastball up. And Tolliver so far has worked an inning and two-thirds scoreless. Two up, two down here in the eighth tonight. But the Revs had won 23 of their previous 26 road games. Just unbelievable. 23 and 3 on the road since June 14th. So only three losses on the road on that stretch, but in danger of falling to 0-2 down here this weekend tonight. Here's Dotel who takes high. Dotel 0 for 2 with a walk early in the game. one -oh. swing and a miss, change up. Dotel from Naiba, Dominican Republic, now lives in Oregon. Spent some time in the Pacific Northwest, of course, when he was early in his career in the Mariners system. He told me last year that when he had signed with Seattle, coming to the U.S. It was the first time he had ever flown. And he was a little nervous. 1-1, one, one, swing and a shot headed our way right over our booth and and bounces into the parking lot off somebody's vehicle out beyond right field, hopefully on a bounce. One ball, two strikes. Revs down to their final four outs in this game tonight. Tolliver the stretch. And fires, and it's down low. Change up in the dirt. And Sugarland leading their game 8 1 in the sixth inning at Somerset on our York Mitsubishi out of town scoreboard. Revs division lead in danger of being down to a half game. Pitch to Dotel. He swings, skies it down the right field side. This is fouling out of play. And that, oh man, kids just streaming after it as it clears the walkway over here, ends up in some bushes. And that was a mad dash from probably 10 or 15 kids swarming after it. Dotel stays alive, two and two it remains. Tolliver to the plate, swinging a ground ball toward the middle and a sliding stop. Russell, he'll have to hold it. The second baseman sliding in shallow center, but no play to make with Dotel's speed, and it crawls up the middle. It'll be, I don't know if you want to call that an infield hit or not. It was fielded by an infielder. It got onto the outfield, and Dotel is on with a two-out single. But the Revs with... Just three singles since the third inning. And now there's apparently some concern, I guess, with Tolliver. You know what? I wonder if that ball went off of him on the way up the middle. As you probably know from my complaints by now, it is a struggle to see from down here. I wonder if that nicked off of him and that slowed it down. Their athletic trainer came out. It looks like he's going to throw... A warm up here. Let's see if he can stay in. And he will do so.
Yeah, he'll stay in to face Malky Mesa. The Rockers do have a right-hander loosening now in their bullpen. And with these special jerseys tonight, I have no idea who. First pitch to Mesa, fastball, misses inside. Malkio for three tonight, strikeout, pop up, ground out. I believe they said it's first responders jerseys. 1-0, that is across for a strike, a changeup. Six to one high point here in the eighth inning. And a snap move over. Dotel is back standing. The, the lefty, you can't just stand there and snap it all arm. Your foot has to be off behind the rubber to make that move. Pitt, it is swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes to Malky. Not a whole lot going for the Revs to this point tonight. Tolliver raises the hands up to the set position and steps off. He's trying to give them two innings. He's got these eight wins in relief, but tonight Chris Pinnell is the pitcher of record. Six innings, one run. Tolliver the stretch. Fires. Swing and a line drive hit hard, but right at Mitchell in center, and the inning is over. Line drive smoked to center, but right at Jared Mitchell to end the inning, and the Revs turned away in the eighth. No runs, one hit, and one left. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It is six to one, high point. Everything you've worked for may be facing a hostile takeover, but step outside the boardroom and look around. Not taking care of business right now could leave you dealing with a hostile takeover by crabgrass later this summer. And broadleaf weeds are just beneath the surface, ready to take their share of your turf too. Prevent hostile takeovers. Call Heritage Lawn and Landscape Care and give your lawn a good healthy start this year. Heritage Lawn can apply crabgrass pre-emergent and quality fertilizer now to fortify your lawn for later. HeritageLawnAndLandscape.com. World-class care right in your backyard. Want to give your child the best birthday ever without hosting, planning, or cleanup work? Book a York Revolution birthday party at People's Bank Park. Parties include two hours of all-you-can-eat Kessler's hot dogs and pizza, goodie bags for all guests, and Penn State Children's Hospital playground wristbands. The birthday child gets a custom Revs jersey and throws out a first pitch, and the whole crowd sings happy birthday before the party enjoys a customized Revs birthday cake. Birthdays at a Revs game. Best birthday ever. Details at YorkRevolution.com or 717-801-HITS. Money and business are essential to the strength of a community. So is cheering and celebration and music and fun. That's why York Revolution games, concerts, youth sports, special events and more happen at a place called People's Bank Park. People's Bank has been serving York County for more than 150 years. Always cheering, always celebrating, always committed to the things that make York County great. And to you having a great time at People's Bank Park. People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Catch the Revs all season on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. And at the bottom of the eighth inning, it is six to one high point. Orlani Kiros will come on. Pitching change brought to you by Maple Donuts. After the game tonight, part of our NFL deal is some exciting preseason action. And we'll have the Cowboys and 49ers in progress for you tonight. So make sure you stay up until the very end for that. Giovanni Alfonso will lead things off 8 9 and 1. Alfonso, 1 for 3. And first pitch, a fastball over for a strike on Alfonso. 
Heroes has thrown the ball well. Three relievers for the Revs tonight as Alfonso swings, grounds one, threw into left field a base hit. Down at short, laid out for it, but could not reach. Diving to the backhand. And Alfonso is on with the single. Kiro's 3 and 1, a 566 ERA, 22 outings. Here recently, he's been pretty sharp. First pitch here, rip, but foul down the right field side. Down against the seating of. The Rockers' bullpen here in front of us. Frank Nigro, the hitter, he is 0 for 3 tonight. Foul out, strike out, ground out. Pitt, it is swung on a miss. High fastball. No balls, two strikes. Pitch from Kiros, swinging a chopper toward the middle. Dent coming up, he gloves it, slings it over to first for the out. That was the only play. And Alfonso will move to second base on it. One down here in the eighth inning as Nigro is retired. And we go to the top of the order and Steven Cardulo. Revs are going to need a huge ninth inning. Cardulo tonight, three for three with a walk and a run on base all four times. First pitch is over for a strike. Runner at second with one out. Kiros, who joined the Revs back in mid-May. In fact, the team was in Sugar Land. Spent his first four years in the Giants system, reaching high A, San Jose. He fires and misses high. One ball, one strike. First three years were in the Dominican Summer League. So this level is certainly a jump up for him, but he's handled it pretty well. On one pitch, that misses high and away. Heroes ready. And the pitch, that misses high, three balls and a strike. Can't tell you who this righty is for high point just yet. I know it's not Kelly, their closer. They have a five-run lead. They have a couple different jersey numbers tonight. Revs in the ninth will have Dent, Castillo, and Trapp trying to put together the start of a huge inning. Here's the 3-1, and a swing and a miss. Fastball. They have yet to retire Cardulo tonight. tonight Revs would be one and five in this ballpark Kiro's delivers and misses no he didn't it's a called third little delay but he got him on the fastball up trackman style up just under the letters and Cardulo is retired for the first time all night strikeout for out number two here in the eighth and that'll bring up Jared Mitchell Six to one, the Rockers in front, trying to win the first two this weekend. And the pitch to Mitchell, he checks his swing, bounces one out in front of the plate, it's fair, he got a late start, Skelton pounces on it, 
and throws him out down at first. That'll end the inning. He didn't go. He probably thought he fouled it, but it bounced in front of the plate, and Skelton takes care of it. The leadoff single is stranded by Kiros. He works a scoreless inning, and it's last chance time for the Revs going to the ninth, trailing 6-1. to one. Hear that? It's the sound of summer. Sound nice? Call Kona Ice. We do it all. Schools, sporting events, parties, both corporate and birthday. You name it, we'll be there. We bring the party to you. If you need a little bit of fun in your life, we're the shaved ice truck for you. Oh, and we fundraise too. This summer, cool down with Kona Ice. Give us a call at 1-800-KONA-ICE or visit us online at www.kona-ice.com. Kona Ice, flavor our world. We were with you when you were struggling with the challenges of being a young athlete, before the challenges of keeping fit while working 9 to 5, and long before Pilates and Zumba were even a thing. Flying feet. Flying Feet Sport Shoes outfitted you as a young athlete. When you slipped into a new sport practically every season, you learned a lot and you grew strong. But now that you're an adult, why stop? Flying Feet has the brands and the styles that will increase your performance no matter how you choose to maintain your fitness. Just like when you were a kid, when you shop Flying Feet, you know you'll walk away with the best fit and natural comfort. Flying Feet stocks fitness shoes and all kinds of fitness gear. So, what do you do these days? Trail walking? Working out on the track? On the street? In the gym? Sign up for exercise classes like Pilates, Zumba, or need shoes for weightlifting? It doesn't matter what you're into, you can always count on Flying Feet. It's the one sportswear special store that's truly ageless. Flying Feet. Flying Feet Sports Shoes, 1511 Mount Rose Avenue, York, just off exit 18 of I-83. This is Enoe Polanco. You're listening to Your Revolution Baseball on the home of the Red Sport Radio, 98 9 FM and 1350 WOYK, first in your first in sport. Head of the ninth inning, last chance for the Revs who trail this one six to one. New pitcher for High Point as we go to the ninth is Dusty Isaacs. Pitching change brought to you by Maple Donuts. Recent addition for them. Dent will lead things off. First pitch is inside, he backs up. Dent tonight, one for three. Isaacson is 11th outing, 1 and 2 with a 450 ERA. He fires. And a swing of ground ball. Backhand stab. Alfonso throws and he got him. Sharply hit. And Alfonso on the backhand. It kicked up off of his glove in the air, but he recovers it and throws to first in time. And that is the way it's gone for the Revs this week, and certainly. So far on this jaunt to North Carolina. One down here in the ninth inning. And here's Henry Castillo. He's had a good night on base all three times. Two singles and a walk. That's from the left again. First pitch from the righty misses wide. Isaacs, who's been at Triple-A with Toronto earlier this year and last year. 1-0, swing and a miss. He kept it down. He was drafted by the Blue Jays out of Georgia Tech, 18th round in 2014, an Ohio native. Eleventh appearance since signing, and he steps off. Twelve innings, six earned runs, 16 strikeouts coming in. High strikeout numbers out of their bullpen. Six walks. A little less than a hit per inning. 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a foul, straight back over the roof. And it's one and two. Again, the Revs haven't lost back-to-back -back series since the beginning of June. It's 
tomorrow won't be an easy one facing Michael Bowden. He's 1-1 one and one with a 180 ERA. Pitch to Castillo, swinging a high fly, hit our way over the press box. They all part on the walkway and right. It bounces up over the hedges toward the parking lot. I'm telling you, I have a great view of all that. It's just the game isn't played over there. Yeah, those numbers for Bowden are in five starts. He's been flat out dominant. Pitch to Hank, fastball called third strike. And the Rebs down to their final out tonight. Two up, two down here in the ninth inning. And Justin Trapp, the last hope for the Rebs tonight, hitless in four at bats. First pitch, it is just outside. High point looking to go to 17 and 13 in the second half. Pitch is over for a strike, a slider. One ball, one strike, the count. Isaacs delivers, fastball, it is just outside. High point entering the night, a two game lead for first place over Long Island. Now the pitch to trap, slider, it is a little bit high, three and one. Long Island losing their game 4-0 at Lancaster in the ninth. A high point, a chance to go up three. Sugarland still up 8-1 in the seventh at Somerset. On the 3-1 to trap. And a swing and a well-hit ball. Deep left center. Mitchell back runs it down. Cruising just in front of the track. He runs it down and the game is over. And the High Point Rockers have taken the first two from the Revs here this weekend. Tonight they win it by a final score of 6-1. to one. Revs scored in the top of the first inning, did not score again. And the LED light show from the stadium lights flickers here at BB&T Point, the postgame fireworks to follow. And the Revs have been silenced so far here on this visit to Carolina tonight. They fall by a final score of 6-1. to one. And we'll be trying to avoid a series sweep tomorrow. 6-1 the final score. Stay tuned. Postgame show follows next. One of downtown York's gems, Revival Social Club is the place to be in York. Experience our imaginatively globally inspired menu with everything made from scratch using fresh local products. Try our innovative creative cocktails at happy hour Monday through Friday from 4.30 to 6.30. Pop-up events and brunches, dinner with the family, and the perfect party venue with a private room for up to 40 people upstairs. That's Revival Social Club, 19 North George Street in York. Check us out online at RevivalSocialClubYork.com. Image 360 York is your choice for graphics that enhance, signage that works, and displays that inform. Everything from color change car wraps to vehicle wraps for your entire fleet, custom window graphic decals and lettering, interior signage graphics and displays. Don't replace when you can reface. Call Rob and his team at 717-757-4909. That's 757-4909. Or order online at image360.com slash yorkpa. It's fast, affordable, and convenient. Image 360. 2260 Industrial Highway in York. Sports injury? Walk into Wellspan Urgent Orthopedics for immediate care. No appointment is ever needed. Our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists are here to treat you. Visit wellspan.org forward slash urgent orthopedics today for hours at our York and Hanover locations. Cannonball Charlie's ready. Are you? The Revs play here. Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK, York. Hey. 
Revs fall tonight, 6-1, the final here at High Point. Daryl Henry back with you. We welcome you to the post-game show. They are getting ready for fireworks here shortly at BB&T Point. And we'll recap things here tonight. Not a whole lot to talk about for the Revs, who scored in the top of the first inning, back-to-back two-out doubles from Nash and Tejeda. Tejeda driving in Nash for the game's first run to make it one to nothing, but in the bottom of the first inning, the Rockers with their second four-run inning in as many nights, and tonight it came in the first, and after loading the bases with one out, two-run double from Richie Schaefer, ground rule to right center, Michael Russell, a bloop RBI single via Sergi Rosa, an RBI fielder's choice, and High Point had a four-to-one lead at the end of one inning. The Revs never could recover from that. They had two base hits in the second, but stranded both. A double from Nash in the third, and a walk to Tejeda, but stranded both. Never threatened the rest of the night. Only three more hits after that. And meanwhile, High Point adding runs in the fourth and sixth. RBI single from Steven Cardulo in the fourth. RBI double from Hector Gomez in the sixth inning. And that pushed their lead to 6-1, to one, which ended up being the final tonight. Chris Pinnell went six innings, allowing just one run for the win. Asher Tolliver, two scoreless innings in the seventh and eighth. Dusty Isaacs with a 1-2-3 ninth inning to close it out. Duke Von Schaum in the loss for the Revs tonight. Only allowed one run after the first inning, but was charged with five runs through five. Robert Carson charged with one run in the sixth inning. Revs did get a 1-2-3 debut from Josh Smoker in the seventh and a scoreless eighth inning from Orlani Kiros. But a 6-1 final as High Point wins it tonight. Revs fall to 53-45 overall, 19-10 in the second half. High Point, meanwhile, improving to 58-42 overall with a second-half record of 17 and 13. Lights are down here, fireworks going up. We'll take a time out, check the out of town scores and wrap things up for you. When we come back, Revs fall tonight six to one here in High Point. Post game continues after this. The York County Solid Waste Authority turns up the heat every day, on your garbage that is. Advanced waste to energy technology is used to burn garbage at 1800 degrees Fahrenheit in environmentally controlled combustion units. This reduces air emissions and produces electricity, enough to power 20,000 homes every minute of every day. Visit www.ycswa.com to learn more. In your County, garbage is power. The 1741 Club is here. You in? People's Bank Park introduces a revolution in hospitality in York. The 1741 Club, presented by UPMC. Now open on the skybox level of People's Bank Park, the 1741 Club features stylish design and contemporary decor, all-inclusive food and beverages, and totally flexible ticket purchase options. The hottest spot in York is the place to entertain and thank customers, reward employees, celebrate family occasions, or simply treat yourself to an all-inclusive Exclusive experience at the ballpark. Nightly menus include enhanced classics and a rotation of special offerings, and house selections of draft beer and wine and a full range of non alcoholic beverages are included in the ticket price. 1741 Club tickets are available for individual purchase through three levels of membership or as season tickets, and they can be used for any of the York Revolution's home games based on availability. The 1741 Club presented by UPMC. You in? Details and pricing at 1741club.com. Hey, this is Telvin Ness. You're listening to York Revolution Baseball on the home of the Revs Sports Radio, 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. First in York, first in sports. Let's go Revs. Post-game fireworks here from BB&T Point. Take a look at our York Mitsubishi out-of-town scoreboard tonight. Revs fall in our game 6-1. Sugarland is winning its game 8-1 to one in the seventh inning at Somerset, so assuming that holds the Revs' lead, we'll be down to half a game in the Freedom Division's second half. Southern Maryland and New Britain are tied at 7 in the ninth inning at New Britain Stadium. 
Lancaster has beaten Long Island 4 to nothing. Nate Reed getting the win in that game. He went six and two-thirds of one hit ball. As he looks to get himself back in form, he is now two and two since coming back to Lancaster. Major League games here tonight, no particular order. The Brewers lead the Rangers 3-1 in the seventh inning. Nationals and Mets are tied at three. That is in the sixth inning. The Astros are slaughtering the Orioles 14-1 at Camden Yards in the seventh. Marlins have just scored two to tie the Braves in the ninth inning, 6-6 in South Florida. Indians and Twins scoreless in the second in Minneapolis. White Sox lead the A's 2-0 in the seventh inning. I think I said the sixth for the Nationals and the Mets. It's actually the eighth inning, 3-3 in New York. The Reds are all over the Cubs, 10-0 in the sixth inning tonight in Cincinnati. Cardinals lead the Pirates 3-1. That's in the sixth inning at Bush Stadium. Rockies and Padres are 1-1 in the third. The Diamondbacks and Dodgers scoreless early, second inning in LA. Earlier today, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. hit a go-ahead two-run triple in the seventh. The Blue Jays came back to beat the Yankees 5-4. Angels a 12-4 win at Fenway against the Red Sox. Mike Trout, believe it or not, first home run of his career in Boston. Phillies fell to the Giants, and Jeff Samarja, who pitched eight innings of two-hit ball, 3-1 was the final by the Bay. The Royals a 7-0 win in Detroit. Mike Montgomery went seven scoreless and struck out 12, and the Rays and Mariners are coming up in Seattle. That is your York Mitsubishi out-of-town scoreboard here tonight. Final once again in our game. It's the Rockers 6 and the Revs 1. And your totals in this one for the Revs, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left nine on base. High point, six runs, 12 hits, no errors. They leave eight. The win goes to Chris Pinnell. He is 2-1. and one. He's also our Kochman Kunkel Insurance Group player of the game tonight. Young guy, second-year pro, and kept this lethal Revs offense off balance through six innings. Duke Von Scham in the loss. He falls to 6-4. and four. Time of the game tonight, 2 hours, 43 minutes. Played in front of 3,521 here at BB&T Point Ballpark. Now the Revs will try to avoid the sweep tomorrow. It's a 2 p.m. first pitch. We'll be on at 1.40 with the pregame. Ricky Schaefer makes his third start. He's 1-1 one one with a 6.48 ERA. One was stellar, one was rough. Third start for him tomorrow. Right-hander Michael Bowden will go for high point. He's been dominant through five starts, only one win but a 1-1 one one record with a 1.80 ERA. Again, we're on at 140, and we hope you can join us then. Then the off day Monday, and then on to Long Island on Tuesday night. Until tomorrow, for Brett Petrak, who joined me briefly tonight, Cannonball Charlie as well. Daryl Henry saying so long from High Point. Once again, your final score, it's the Rockers 6 and the Revs 1. Thanks a lot for listening. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Again, exciting NFL preseason football is coming up. The Cowboys and the Niners, stay tuned for that. We'll talk to you tomorrow at 1.40 for the pregame right here on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. Thank you for listening to York Revolution Baseball on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 WOYK. Catch the Revs all season on York's only place for local sports. Tune in 20 minutes before first pitch for a trip to the clubhouse with player interviews and the manager, Mark Mason, every game. Listen throughout the day for the Revs Report and check out 98.9 WOYK.com for highlights and features on York's pro team. York Revolution Baseball all season on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 50 W-O-Y-K. First in York, first in sports. Now we return to our regularly scheduled programming already in progress on Sports Radio 98.9 FM and 1350 W-O-Y-K. York.